Fayola. Madiri. Izulu. Sakolo. Bahati. Welcome to Fabled 42, where we build community through friendship, gaming, and a lot of technical chaos. <laughs> <laughs> you are watching the threat of Kamali here on Fable 42. Thank you all for your patience as we were fighting some uh, tech goblins to be here, but with the power of us combined, we made it through and we got here. So I'm glad to be with you all. Before I go around uh, to uh, introduce our amazing players for today, I'm gonna run down some announcements real quick. I wanna say thank you to Griffin Co. Um, for everything that you normally see here on uh, Fable 42 for Battle Cams is through Griffin Co. Uh, they are an amazing company, uh, an amazing family and amazing friends. We love them very much. Thank you, Griffin Co. Uh, also, uh, thank you, Vorpal. Uh, Vorpal is usually the uh, video app that we use for our player indicators, digital dice, and uh, zoom features on the battle map. Uh, thank you to them. Uh, currently uh, having some issues right now, so we are having to borrow zoom for a minute, but still, we still love them. Um, also, this is a charity stream. We are uh, taking donations for uh, Prevent Cancer Foundation. Uh, please look at our menu below. It is the black and purple one. Uh, you can see uh, what you can donate to give our players here certain items like uh, luck, uh, inspiration, uh, different levels of potions. Uh, they will need it because I'm in a mood. <laughs> uh, we're, gonna <laughs> lot, we're gonna we're gonna have a lot of fun here. Um, now, uh, is there anything else that I'm missing? Da, 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 da. No, I believe that it. So we're gonna go go ahead and go around kind of clockwise to introduce. Uh, our players. Uh, players, please start with where we can find you. Uh, let us know about any fun projects you're doing, if, if, if you would like. And please end by telling us uh, who you're playing and what they look like. Give us a, uh, a short description of them. So we're going, we're going to start with Fayola. Hey, I'm Sydney Adams. Um, you can find me at Rainy Fro. Um, I am a game designer at Wizards of the Coast, and I'm also a model and cosplayer locally in Seattle, though I'm originally from New York. Um, so you can find me on Twitter or Instagram at rainy underscore fro, and it's rainy rainbow fro because my hair changes a lot, but it's okay. Uh, so I will be playing uh, Fayola Yati. She is a fighter artificer, um, and she works in Shuri's science division. She comes from a long line of Dora Milaje and her mother was a Dora Milaje, but she took a slightly different path. So she's a fighter, but she really wants to just be back in the lab. She doesn't know what she's doing here, but she'll do anything for Wakanda. Um, and this is kind of what she looks like in my head. You know, she's got her ornamentation. She's got her tribal tattooing that's similar to Shuri's and she's got her battle gauntlets ready for anything. Excellent, excellent, thank you. Madiri. Oh, we can't hear you, Madiri. Hi, I'm TJ Storm. Uh, you can find me just by Googling my name and following the path. Uh, I get to work on all kinds of fun stuff and I'm just happy to be with people who have a passion for role-playing and they loved uh, this. They love the world of Wakanda and the magic that Chad, Chadwick Boseman brought to the screen. So much respect to all the people that made that possible. I, I, I was lucky enough to work on the film as well, uh, just in a, a small capacity, uh, but man, it was pure magic. All together, all of that talent and beauty, and, and we get to be here to kind of help that memory and uh, use it to make the world a little better place by uh, doing the Prevention for Cancer Foundation. Uh, charity that we're doing today so please give to that if you can uh more about that later but for now i'll tell you about who i am i am prince midiri scion of the house of gib prince of the domo bashinga i am nothing without my heaven my sky princess izulu of the domo bashinga we together have brought our two tribes, the tribe below 
in the Mount Bashinga, the place where vibranium is mined. That is my people, my tribe, and the tribe above. The Sky Tribe, which protects Mount Bashinga from those who would steal the vibranium. No matter, I will allow my princess to speak and tell of her story, the story of the sky. Thank you so much. Aizulu. Hi, everybody. I'm Alicia Marie. You can find me on socials at Alicia Marie Body. I am a costume concept designer and a bunch of other things, too. I'm really excited to be playing for a charity that's near and dear to my heart today. And also these amazing people that I've gotten to play with in the past, but having them all together in one place is so exciting for me. Uh, today, I am Princess Izulu Geb, formerly Newt of the Domo Bashenga tribe. I am married to my earth, Prince Madiri Geb. I am a storm sorcerer and eldritch knight fighter. My family and sky ancestors before me live atop and are the protectors of Mount Bashenga. We are both its guardians and we are in total to control of any transport of vibranium off the mountain. Our skin remains brown as earth and clay but it has turned our hair white and our eyes blue violet. I am Izulu Geb. Beautiful, thank you so much. Saikolo. Cue the dramatic lighting. Uh, B. Dave Walters, I say words about things. Uh, you can find me pretty much everywhere. Right after this, I'll be running Wraith. I run uh, Dungeons and Dragons and Dark and Wish. I'm uh, Thursdays, I'm on, and Tuesdays, I'm on uh, Silver and Steel for D&D Beyond and a bunch of other things wherever fine streaming content can be located. Just follow me on Twitter at B. Dave Walters. Uh, today, I am Tsekolo Utsiku who is of the Golden Panther tribe. And I have dedicated my life to perfection of myself in the weaponization of my mind and spirit to bring glory to my family and to help keep my little sister out of trouble. Thank you so much. Bahati. Hello, everyone. Um, I am Utahime. Uh, you can find me at Utahime Cosplay on Facebook. Instagram, here on Twitch, also too here on the Fable 42 channel. Um, I play Kizana Moonshadow on Wizards of Ukador and Ash on uh, Vault 42. Um, today I'll be playing Bahati Usuku. Um, she's about 5'7", um, like small muscular frame, of course, brown hair, brown, brown eyes, uh, tan skin. Um, she's a fighter rogue. Um, Bahati is, uh, she's a young prodigy. Um, she was able to soar through the ranks uh, pretty easily through the Hatut Zraze, which uh, they're basically uh, also known as the war dogs, the secret police that protects uh, and dedicate their lives to keeping Wakanda safe. Uh, she's the younger sister, sometime a little bit uh, mischievous. <laughs> younger sister of B. Dave's character, Sakolo. Um, and uh, he's extremely gifted, but he did train her um, also too in the ways of uh, being a strong fighter. Uh, their mother was a very strong fighter. And so I admire my mother very much and uh, hope to make her proud and uh, carry on that legacy. Our dad was a bit of a thinker. I think that's where Sakolo gets his, uh, <laughs> his wit from. Um, but again, thank you guys so much. Uh, it is such an honor to uh, be able to play uh, with these amazing, amazing human beings and uh, for such an amazing cause and to honor Chadwick Boseman. It's awesome. Thank you so much. Also, if I could just say one tiny thing, I know a lot of times it's been tough this year. I know obviously it's Black Friday, everybody's spending a lot of money and you might be thinking you don't have like a lot to give. I guarantee you literally every bit counts. Every single dollar adds up. So Ooh. if you can't do it, you know, it happens, signal boost, do whatever you can, but even a single dollar, I promise it all adds up. Yes. Thank you so much. And I am GW, I will be your humble dungeon master this evening. Um, you can find me on IG and Twitter under G.005. And you can also find me here on Fable 42 uh, during different events here and there. And in 
2021, I will be uh, heading my own uh, adventure with three other DMs. We made a world together, and now we're going to be taking separate teams through that world and see how each one interacts and changes the other one's campaign. So that should be pretty fun. It's going to be a blast. Thank you, everyone, for bringing up uh, Chadwick, Chadwick Bozeman. Uh, this was something that was heavily on my mind since since we got the news. Uh, I was originally uh, waiting until um, next year, um, Black History Month, to do something like this. But uh, since that news, it's pushed me to do it a lot sooner. So uh, thank you all for being here and supporting this and uh, helping us raise money and awareness for uh, cancer. So thank you again. We are going to get into it now. <clears throat> Clear and beautiful skies as rich as sapphire. Atop a luscious green canopy, the trees moving so fast beneath, it makes a glorious collage of mesh, paint, mesh painted greenery as if a brilliant embroidered tapestry of life. Farmers, herders, small villages, the simple life to the naked eye. The air howls past as we go faster and faster through the sky until pfft, we dive head first into the grand canopy, breaking the illusion, busting through the holographic veil and revealing the most awe-striking sight, a most spectacular technological city amongst the jungle, a city that seems to gleam with the sun's rays, holographic ads floating along the uh, city streets of the kingdom. A city that seems to have holographic images flung over the city as if a uh, aurora borealis. A city where many transport crafts fly to and fro where videos are almost as if you're there in, in person. This place is perfectly balanced. Existence between exceeding, exceeding technology, advancement, and traditional honor. Yes, we can hear it now. The people in the streets playing their music, the drums that fill your heart. I now welcome you all to the kingdom of Wakanda. The king has left for the states on diplomatic business and has left you, his guard, the generals of, Wak of the kingdom to protect and defend the land in his absence, not knowing what is on the horizon. Bahati, through your people, you have gotten word that Camilla, Lord of the Kaboko has heard of the king's absence and has plans to infiltrate and invade the kingdom. Usually, you wouldn't be taken aback by such news. You know the kingdom has very high defenses and is second to none. However, you know Kamali to be tactful, strategic, and precise. They are nothing to be overlooked. You share this top secret news to your friends, your close friends. Here, the most decorated generals of this land. After discussion, you all agreed that a, a covert elite team could seek out Camilla's Cam Kamali, sorry, excuse me, Kamali's HQ, unknown to most, and potentially stop this attempt at an invasion before it even fully begins. You all agreed that there is no team more elite than you. And with the king being gone, he can't tell you no. So by night, you all tell your tribes to stand ready for anything and hold the kingdom's defenses while you all prep yourselves for what may lie ahead. 
you board a, an aircraft of Theolas that is specialized in concealment. You make your way to the foggy coordinates of what you all believe to be Kamali's base of operations. So, while one of Theola's pilots man the wheel, you all are strapped into your seats of this aircraft, looking at each other. This time is yours. I do not like leaving the Mount Bashinga. Why must we go to this place when he clearly wishes to come to us? We oh, should I... defend and not attack. Why would we risk the lives of hundreds when we few can accomplish this easily and but a night, my friend? Because we are strong through conflict. Let the people of Wakanda feel conflict so they too can gain strength. The mountain empowers them and gives us the blessing of vibranium and gives us the weapons to fight. Why must we take the fight to them? My prince, while I do agree that we are strong, that would have been a concern to address before we boarded the craft. I we are already on our way. Ah. Uh, my uh, uh, you always, you, know that I, you and I always thought the same. Listen, prince, it is important for us to strike and strike hard. We cannot afford, like my brother said, for lives to be lost because we hesitate. We are not ones who hesitate in Wakanda. We strike when it needs to be done. Prince Madiri. And we also knew that Kimili was planning this for a long time. He was waiting for us, my prince. It is our duty to step out and show that we are stronger. So we go to where he is. Well enough. My sky has spoken. I will move forward. Do not worry. We will be there soon and you will make an example of them. I have been trying to do things quite differently than you, and I manifest one of my psychic knives just floating on my finger. <laughs> oh, Sakolo, be careful the... with that thing. I promise it will not cut you. It only cuts where I wish, but we must always strike where unexpected. And I do whip it like it's gonna hit the wall, but it just vanishes. <laughs> Um, off. <laughs> Viola turns to Bahati and is like, I'm starting to see where you get your peculiaralities from. Uh, well, I think he's the more peculiar of the two of us, but uh, whatever you say, Lala. Whatever you Don't say. call me that. <gasps> okay, Viola. I'm sorry. Ooh. I Thank read, you, Bahati. I, oh my God. I, I have read her mind, Bahati. She likes it. <laughs> I, I, I do I not. I am a serious scientist now, and I will not be called nicknames from my childhood. It's fine. Relax. We're not even on the battlefield yet. We I am going down. to go check on the pilot. <sighs> See? Likes it. <laughs> it so, has yeah, been a while, brother. Swear. It's good to see you, brother. What? What, Bahati? I'm oh, sorry. I'm saying it's. I'm sorry. It's, it's good to see my brother. It's. It, I don't often see him. He's often sent on different missions, and I on mine. Um, but of course, it's it's always good to with you, princess and prince. Um, thank you for joining us on this journey. You honor us with your presence, princess. I have checked thank with you. the pilot. We can expect drop down in T minus five. Please ready Ooh. your weapons. We are ready. We are always ready. How dare Camille threaten us at all? Disgusted. The disrespect. <sighs> Princess, might I make a humble request before we yes, drop? Yes, you may. Please leave some of them for the rest of us this time. <laughs> How about we make a bet, brother? Oh, but you cheat every time. I don't I cheat. cheat. Um, I mean, I steal your weapons on occasion. It's um, that is, <laughs> but that she is, cheats. I don't cheat. That is why She's I always had to, cheated. That's why I had to stop carrying daggers. Every time I reached for them, they would be gone. I I, I actually 
<laughs> you see Bahati, <laughs> basically she's just kind of like this, like, mm, but she actually goes to try to basically reach for one of his <laughs> weapons again. Just... <laughs> and then she holds it. You said you weren't supposed to bring daggers. You brought one. <sighs> Always the same, my sister. Yes. Um, ah, here. Whoever defeats the least enemies must explain to the king why we even came here. Oh, I forgot. Oh. You're on, Brick brother. You're on. <laughs> uh, may, may I speak with you for a, a moment, Psycholo? Mm. And then she sort of just walks over and she's like, uh, you know that I'm only here to make sure that you all return safely. I do not enjoy conflict, and I am here only to resolve it. Are you volunteering to explain it to the king, then, is what I'm hearing. It's a lot of excuses, la la, ha, <coughs> Feola. Fine. When you are the last one, I hope you explain it well. And then she goes back. <laughs> so at this time... Siblings. But at, this, about them. at this time, you start to hear kind of like the bum, bum, bum of the uh, the aircraft, and you hear uh, the pilot uh, yell back to you, um, Fayola. Lady Fayola, we, we are coming close. Get ready, uh, everyone get ready to drop. Very well. Great. All right, so, as you all synchronize your communication beads amongst your wrists and slide down the lines to the grounds of the jungle, you believe that the great mountain miles away is your destination. Prince Madiri, do not freeze. I do not even know what this means. <laughs> <laughs> According uh, to our scans, we can check the mountain. He should be somewhere there. I will begin to open the hatch. Who wants to go first? I will go first. Oh, Sikolo. Oh, no, please, my princess. The princess Thank shall you. go first, out of respect, and we shall send her prince after her. And then uh, she presses, like, whatever tech button she's got to press. Things start opening, you know. <clears throat> bracing I wind. I stand gingerly because I stand six foot ten and I do not fit well in this small craft. But... My heavy armor clanks as I walk to the edge and stand behind my princess. I touch the rune on my chest and the heavy armor transforms into white gossamer wrappings around my body. Some appear to be feathers, but they are feather light, a wedding gift from my princess. Whenever you are amazing. in my sky, I will follow where you go. Yes, my earth. You look amazing in the gift. Here we go. I'm ready. So you Wanda all want forever. I whisper to my brother, I say, uh, subtlety is not their specialty, huh? Hmm. Let us show them, my sister. And I use my telekinetic movement to pick her up and move her out down to the ground. <laughs> And I just step out like I'm plummeting, and at the last second, use my telekinetic shield and like, boom, <laughs> and just stand up. Viola is last, and she's just like, oh, I regret everything. And then she just sort of like lowers down, lets her like jetpack just slowly bring her down real gently and just lands, you know, just like right, this. Right as you uh, drop from the aircraft, uh, Viola you hear your pilot uh, yell to you, be careful, be careful. I will. Make sure you know what to do. Return, do not come back here. We will find our own extraction point. Understood. Be well. And so you are now all on the ground floor of this jungle and you know uh, that the base of the great mountain is generally where you need to go. What do you do? Uh, my prince, the princess, captain, if you would, my sister and I have some skill at reconnaissance. Might we scout ahead a bit? Princess, you have a thought? You may. 
Have you been this this in this area before? Mm. On occasion, mm. on certain missions, um, <laughs> me and my people. So. All right, you may go ahead. We will follow behind. I will stay with the royals. Viola, Izulu, and Prince Madiri all hear my voice in your head simultaneously say, we will call if there's trouble. <laughs> and just disappear. Do not yes. engage. You said, you said, you just see us disappear. <laughs> <laughs> I know you can hear me. <laughs> You're all like yelling it in your, in your like beat comp. I know you can hear me. <laughs> Before I leave, I'm going to say, stop being so worried. It's going to be okay. And then I go. <sighs> so we have uh, Fayola and Madiri and Izulu staying back while the siblings move yes. forward. Yes. All yeah, right. So, what um, so to be clear, by the way, I can telepathically talk to them all. So they can talk to me and I can talk to them, but they can't actually talk to each other, just for the record. Right. So, yeah, uh, yeah. And you that's a 60 foot radius from you, yes? So I technically have two different things I can do. I can talk to the three of them um, mm -hmm. uh, because of a thing that is not on the screen. Um, and I have <laughs> oh, oh, uh, up to a mile. I can talk to the three of them up to a mile. Oh, okay. Uh, and, and, and my sister, I can talk to within 60 feet, which is technically a different ability, but practically the same thing. Understood. Yeah. So what's, uh, as you both move forward into uh, the night jungle, uh, what are you going side by side? Is someone going ahead of the other? Uh, how, how, how do you wish to pursue and go forward? Point of order. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I keep yeah. trying to go faster than her, but she's but better at this than I am. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty like... fast because I'm smaller. So, <laughs> and I always try to outrun my brother. So uh, yeah. just a little bit, you know, just a little bit. So, yeah. uh, cause we're, we're a little competitive. So I'm basically progressing forward of course, very stealthily cause that's what we do best. Um, okay. Kind of within the shadows, um, also to um, kind of perceiving, surveying the area, mm -hmm. um, seeing if there's anything, any signs, um, you know, of uh, the, the others' uh, forces kind of camping yep. or anything. And Understood. I, okay. I, I would say basically about every 500 feet or so, the three Correct. of you just here in your head, clear. <laughs> and then, like, <laughs> and then just a little, a little longer, clear. <laughs> as, as we're moving through the woods. Well, just the worst. Uh, <laughs> uh, Viola you... would like to do an investigation check where they sort of landed to see if she can see any tracks heading to any specific direction. Uh, yes, go right ahead. Uh, while you do that, I'm going to need the siblings to roll a perception check. And. Uh, Fayola, what'd you get? Got a 24. Oof. Oof. All right. She's um, an artificer. She's smart. You, yeah, you is. You is. <laughs> so as you look around the area where you all landed, you can still see the um, aircraft that's concealed to almost be invisible. You can kind of, kind of still see it like kind of disappearing into the night sky, going back to the kingdom. As you look around, you... It's very, with a naked eye, no one would be able to see this, but you, with your um, eyes of uh, uh, clarity, you look really deep and you analyze everything around you and you see tire marks kind of um, going through, through a certain way into the forest. It's farther off, it kind of like, um, goes at a certain angle and kind of like over almost as if there's something unseen that is going to allow a car or a vehicle to go through. So you do see uh, tracks going into the, the jungle. So you hmm. definitely know that there is um, some kind of uh, action going kind of to and from here. Is it in the same direction that the siblings went? It is not. It's more um, off the, cause like right now you're kind of, you, you all are kind of in like an open space without trees and like right ahead of you is where the jungle starts. Like the tree mass starts. Uh, the, uh, the wheels, the, the wheel tracks that you see are kind of veering to the left and it's, and it's 
you see it kind of moving closer and closer to the jungle as if looking for a certain area. So that's what you see. Now for the siblings, what did we get for uh, perception? 18. 24, my sister. Open your oh, eyes. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. You move so quickly, you missed all of the details. You so, wise guy. So what you all see um, is as you're kind of like going from uh, kind of from tree to tree, sticking to the shadows, uh, I, I kind of see you you all like parkouring every now and then too. I don't know, it's just in my head. But... <laughs> oh, we're doing acrobatics. You better believe it. Pro we're trying to, <laughs> trying very to extra. Out, trying to outdo the other. Yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As you do, um, Bahati, you notice a kind of an opening, kind of like a, a trail almost uh, to your left. And once you look over there, we, when you just start to notice that uh, Psycholo, you, like, it, it's like it's plain as day. It's almost like a second nature. It's just like, I, I, I sense that there is an opening over there. I may not see it, but I just sense it. And as you look over, you see clear as day that there is a trail to your left, kind of uh, winding and going through uh, the jungle. And you also see footprints here and there, almost as if, Every now and then the vehicle would stop and someone would get out to kind of possibly scout, or stretch their legs, or look around, and then kind of get back in and, and move further. Are we able to determine how many foot sets of foot footprints there are from our ahead, checks? Um, with your perception, no, but with your investigation, you can go ahead and give me a, see if you can see how many there are. Uh, I would just say I'm, I'm recounting all of this back to back to the group so my investigation was only a nine. Oh, uh that's a big old 12. nice <laughs> so, solid oh yeah. investigating may not be here <laughs> so, solid so, sibling you should have waited for me mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh you you don't really know how many there are because it, it it's almost as if someone was trying to cover it up in a way so mm. they're they're not as clear um, you definitely know that it's like more than three, at least, you know that. Um, and and now we're going to bounce back to uh, the team that's uh, standing behind. Sokolo gives you this information um, through your minds. What do you do? Okay. After um, you, my princess. Fiola will just share the information that she just gathered. I actually have um, telepathy as well. I don't know if that uh, factors in it at all, but I do have telepathy, I realize. You do, that's right. So Can we yes. share? Yes, just so you know. Excellent. All right. So, so oh, go ahead, go, go ahead. ahead. I was just gonna ask um, if anyone is starting to move forward and if they are, what uh, is the marching order? I think the, the siblings are in front, correct? And then mm -hmm. Fayola and then Prince and I in the back? Or is Fayola in the back? Uh, Fayola was in the back, but she doesn't mind going forward. Okay. All right. Like we can head this way and regroup and then we can tell them about the tire tracks. Tire tracks? How primitive. Someone was driving through the forest. Well, when you are doing something illegally, often you do not get the best. And I would never design anything useful for someone like him. Thank you, Faoli. Your work is always admired and appreciated. Thank you, my princess. It is an honor to hear such words from you. And then Faola's like trying to be very, very like proper, but inside she's like, yes, finally, someone acknowledges me. <laughs> um, but <laughs> but uh, she's like, yes, uh, I will move. I will move ahead and uh, Try to catch with this with the siblings. Okay, so how dark is it, by the way, GW? Can we can we we can see, uh, or should I throw up some lights, or will that bring attention to our group? It's dark. However, the moon is out and the stars are out, so it is giving you some sort of illumination illumica to um, the forest. So you're not entirely kind of like walking around with you like your eyes closed. You, you can definitely see kind of what's ahead of you. To add on to that, 
My people live in the darkness of Mount Bashinga. Our mining activities and our proximity to Vavranium have given me dark vision at 120 feet. I can see perfectly. I will allow no harm to come to either of you. Thank you for your prayer. Isn't he perfect? <laughs> yes, yes, for you, definitely. So, so as you all move forward, uh, are you just like kind of trudging through the jungle? Are you trying to be quiet? What's what's happening? Absolutely. Trying to be quiet. Well, okay. uh, Fi Fiola's trying to be quiet. She's not very stealthy, but she will try. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead and get a stealth roll from the three of you. Right, well, Viola got disadvantage, so we go see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Mine Four. is currently an 18. I have not changed into heavy armor yet, so my feet are floating just above the ground level. I make no sound. Excellent. How about you, Izulu? My stealth is currently 17. I also have not changed into my fancy armor as well. Nice. <laughs> and now, uh, Fiola. Uh, Fiola got a 14. Oh. She was wearing her armor. Uh, that was with disadvantage. Before that, it was a 17 too. <laughs> But it was, <laughs> Could have gone really bad. It's, it's, it's reasonable. She's just trying, you know, maybe she trips a couple of times like, oh, and she's like, I'm oh. going to, I'm going to say that all of you are working together, the three of you mm -hmm. to kind of help out the um, louder ones. So it, <laughs> it all evens out to you, you all can, can still forward successfully. Okay. You all meet up together with uh, the siblings. Mm -hmm. Um, Fiola, do you wish to see how many people that there were with those footsteps? All right, go ahead and give me an investigation, please. 22. Hey, them eyes. Oh, okay, okay. Look, I got a plus six. All right. Yeah, all right, all right. So <laughs> you, you can see through, um, through the various footprints in the dirt and in, and in the mud that there are approximately seven footsteps, seven uh, pairs of footsteps. Seven footprints. Somebody has one foot. No, my princess. I believe that there are seven assailants ahead. Thank you for the clarification, Fayou. Of course. And, and, uh, and as uh, she says that to you all, you, feel, you all feel like a wave like it just feels good. It's just got, like you just got really lucky because all of you have, have now one luck point each. Yeah. We are blessed by Wakanda. <laughs> well, my, my name does mean lucky. So you're, you guys are all blessed to be in my presence. Bahati has uh... been several decades. Very good. <laughs> So you all um, see tracks. You you all uh, see see the path uh, through the jungle. What do you wish to do? Do we see the mountain in front of us? Can we see it, or we just know the direction? You just know the direction. You do not see. You you see like the tip of it from afar because it's, it's still way out there. It's going to take a time for you to get there. Um, but you see this open path that you know you don't know how often people go to and from it, but um, yeah. Okay. Be careful. Camille knows what we have planned. He is not stupid. It would not be beyond him to set a trap for all of us. And you, and you all do know that um, Kamali goes by they. No one really knows which okay. they are because of their beauty, yet their strength. It's a as a collage of yes. of things. So yeah, they believe they, in perfection. They don't want to make mistakes, which means we have to be highly alert and very careful. However, we proceed directly. I think yes. 
We will follow the tracks. It says they are out here looking for something, though. Is there any indication what is important in this jungle? Prince Midiri, what do your eyes see? Do I see anything beyond within 120 foot range at least? Go ahead and give me a perception. Eight. You do have a luck point if you wish to re-roll that. Okay. I will use <laughs> the blessing of Bahati and re-roll that if I may. <laughs> 17. Hey, all right, okay. So as you look on into the jungle, as you all kind of move forward, you begin to see some light, not, not so much uh, lantern light, but just kind of moonlight. Um, and you begin to kind of hear the trickling of something. As you, as you get closer, you, you hear a stream, a waterfall even. I believe there's a waterfall in the distance. There is moonlight shining off its surface and I can begin to make it out, perhaps in that direction. Very well, we must start somewhere. Psycholo, would you like to lead again? I think I'll take the front point on this one. Whatever makes Please. you happy, Bahati. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lala. Oh, Feola. Thank you. Yes. Turns to the royals. Feola. Feola. <laughs> I do say in both of their minds, she really does enjoy Lala. And then off into the <laughs> off into the woods again. Yeah. Progress forward. Mm -hmm. so what Viola being... just envisions like and um, she could like make sure that Psycholo can see her just like imagining drowning him in the water as soon as they arrive. <laughs> Dang. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like ah. <laughs> <laughs> So are, there, are there are there any um I know we're out in the jungle are there any like flowers or anything beautiful blooming always just right before I leave I just like pluck a blossom off a tree and float it down to her telekinetically <laughs> and then I'm out yep I would like I just to whisper don't mind my brother and just slap it out of his hand <laughs> <laughs> all right so 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 we're doing a mage a mage hand slap go ahead it's... go ahead go ahead and roll a um Rolls did, a hit for me. Did no, we're, ca we're casting shade here. <laughs> really? I'll, I'll, I'll pick one for you too, princess. <laughs> Viola secretly liked the flower, but she's like, I can't. Nah, I'm a scientist. Well, <laughs> well, the the yep. 12 hits the flower. You you all see kind of like this um, beautiful purplish hand kind of like appear out of the ether and just kind of like goes like backhands the flower away. Don't make me come up there, Sacolo. My princess. You're in <laughs> trouble now, brother. <laughs> <sighs> so, so what is the marching order to the waterfall? Yeah, she, uh... I'm still rushing. I'm still kind of uh, hurrying uh, ahead, but of yeah. course, stealthily. Yeah, we'll course. scout. We'll scout slightly, slightly ahead. Not may, maybe not, not maybe only like a hundred feet this this yeah. time. You know. All right, go ahead and give me a stealth check, both of you. Okay. That was twenty-seven. Oh, Ooh. merely 25. I was preoccupied by looking for a superior oh. flower. To you were too busy picking flowers and, and trying to play uh, with Lala. So it's, it's oh so obvious, Psycholo, that your sister has outdone you this time. Uh, Heads. You, 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 al you almost lose track of her uh, in, with her movements. Uh, as you all move forward and Un, unheard, unseen, you two get to this beautiful waterfall in the middle of the uh, the jungle. Uh, as you look around, you can tell uh, that footprints came through here, perhaps. Mm, you know, give me an uh, investigation. Yes. That is a nat 20. Oh. Hey. Nice. Uh, I, mine is a 15. Okay. Not bad. Someone. Not bad. So again, your sister outdoes you. Uh, as you as you walk over and you look with your your eyes, you you've been trained to see every detail uh, multiple times. 
you can see that they that they are footprints here and that they probably the people that were driving probably stop here to get a drink of water before moving on so you can tell you're on the right track I recount all this is yes. keep following and then keep following the tracks Mm -hmm. uh, to you, other three that uh, he just told the information to, do you move forward? I would like to move forward as well. They were drinking oh. water from this lake. What are they? I heard a buffalo. <laughs> Let me get a. a uh, I'd say just very thirsty, princess. It happens. Let me get a stealth check from you three. Okay. Okay. Oh, so you add. Yes. Is there. Oh. Yes. Um, <laughs> can I tell if there's something like special about the waterfall? Like maybe it's not what it appears to be. Go uh, ahead and give me a per uh, an investigation check for that one. And uh, what did uh, you three get for stealth? Eleven. The, the the lovebirds got eleven. Both got you. Uh, how about <laughs> you, Fayola? Uh, Fayola got a nine. Oh shit! Uh, we fell in. We fell in the water, didn't we? <laughs> So as you, as you all move forward through the jungle, um, Bahati and Saikolo, you can definitely tell that your friends are coming. You can tell they're coming. Should, we just, trudge, trudge, should trudge. we just start yelling, we could light a bonfire, Bahati. Just tell the whole jungle I, that we're... <sighs> Bahati, I, 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 taught, I taught Lala how to be stuffy, but she doesn't seem to comprehend what I teach her? It's, she is in, her mind is up here and not on her feet, yes. Bahati, what did you get? You are within hearing distance. <laughs> are we the top generals in Wakanda? <laughs> we don't even know where we are right now. I'm I am singing a general to myself. science. I am here oh. to make the armor and the weapons. That is what I am here for. I am not here to be in the middle of forests walking and trying to be quiet and it is fine this is exactly what i was saying why did we not stay at home but instead we walk around a lake with water bahati what did you get for your investigation of the water 15. 15. so as you look down at this water that seems to almost glow in the moonlight you can tell that this is not regular, um, this is not a regular waterfall. This water is some of the purest that you have ever seen. And you have seen clean water. Wakanda is, has a lot of pure water uh, around their lands, but this is something new. Um, you can tell from this water that if one were to drink it, that they would probably get a D4 healing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, who? As one does. <laughs> Brother, this water is not just any normal water. I can tell that for sure. Kamali is uh, all about perfection. This water is, it's perfect. It DM, it's, I can move objects. I'll let you decide how much water is an object, but I'm like, really? <laughs> and just like some of the water comes up. Yeah, I want to like, try to put that in my water skin. <laughs> yeah. So, sure. so uh, Saikolo, tell me, when the water comes up, are you trying to uh, hold some of it for yourself for later? Or are you trying to like it, douse someone? What at least initially, I just like look at it, kind of like hold it up where the moonlight can shine through it, where we all can see it. And then, mm -hmm. like she said, keep some, like, you know, pour out the water skin. I'm like, in, yeah. Uh, you mm -hmm. definitely know that Fiola has some empty bottles. Mm -hmm. I'm like, eh, perhaps you would like some for your later experiments, Fiola. Fiola, is this safe to drink? Uh, can Fiola check with her little kit or whatever? Go right ahead. Mm -hmm. give, right. Me a, give me a kit check. Yeah, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna be proper. All right, I could probably use alchemist supplies. Uh, so, what check would you prefer for a kit check? Uh, go ahead and give me an intelligence. I would, I would go ahead and say. All right. Seventeen. You know, Fiola, that this water is 
is very drinkable. It's like the most drinkable water you've ever seen before. It's like you want to drink it right now just because it's glowing almost. Uh, you, you know this is definitely okay to drink. Okay, uh, Fiola is like, does her little test kit, brings out a tube, brings water and sees it turn clear and it's just like, oh, it's perfect. How I was telling you, it's perfect. Then I will taste it. Very good property. My prince. She hands the bottles out. And gather a handful and drink. I'm, I'm gonna say that you uh, happen to have four empty bottles, Viola, uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and so you can get uh, four vials worth, I will say. And uh, Madiri, as you take a swig of the water, it's so smooth. You, it tastes so pure and full of life. And it, it, you, you've never tasted this level of purity from water before. This water is perfection, I should think. Yes, I'm very confused as to how it came to be this way. Why? I definitely think that Kamali is behind it. I mean, again, they are all about perfection and pure essence. So I, I, I'm pretty sure that we are on the right track. We should continue as, on. As, as, as you say this and you are all kind of with each other speaking aloud, you start to hear something from the other side of the river. You start to hear growls. And you start and you start to hear those same growls, but a, a little um, higher pitched behind you as well. We are not alone anymore. As we're in somebody's belongings. The second you all say that, you begin to see these figures come out of the shadows in the forest around this waterfall. You s two um, ahead of you, you see these big uh, lumbering shadows that comes out. You first see out of the shadows, you see their, um, their uh, snarling uh, mouth full of teeth as these dire jackals walk forward out of the night. And behind you, as you look, you see a pack, maybe their children, you don't know, of, di uh, not dire, of um, regular jackals coming, prowling out of the shadows for you. I need you all to roll initiative for me right now. I would just say, it, it's like Golo turns and looks at Madiri and says, my prince, this is why you are here. <laughs> When that happens, like when, when my brother says that, how tall are you, Cyclo? <gasps> he's he's not as tall as uh not not as tall as Madeira, probably six four. Oh, so I'm going to hide behind my brother <laughs> for, for reasons. <laughs> for reasons. All right, let me go ahead and um let's see, twenty and above. Exactly twenty. Okay. Twenty three. Oh, okay. So I zoom. <laughs> yeah, we got yeah. dirty twenty, by the way. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Natural right. twenty. Mm. Nice. Uh, we have twenty. She ready? <laughs> twenty to fifteen. Eighteen. Eighteen. All right. That's going to be Madeira. All right. We have fifteen to ten. Thirteen. All right. That's going to be Bahati. Uh, we're going to have 10 to 5. I'm an artificer. I am surrounded by fighters. I take my time. <laughs> All right. What, you what are a fighter you, too. What number did you get? Eight. <laughs> nice. All right. And let's see what these got. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. And also you. Oh, wow. Okay. That's how we... <laughs> That's that's how we're starting off. That's how we're starting off. All right. Um, it's either good or bad, the way he said it. Mawasi, can we please see the battlefield for the waterfall? Oh, sweet. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Excellent. So, 
at the top of the round, we have Izulu. Izulu, what do you do? Izulu is fine. I step forward and I look at these creatures and I say, who are you and where have you come from? As you say that to these beasts, they just snarl at you and begin to drool, uh, still walking forward. Stand behind me, my princess. Don't worry, my prince. I won't do anything stupid. She looks forward at the creatures again and says, you dare to threaten me with my husband standing next to me? Do you know what happened to the last being that threatened me with my husband standing next to me? I'm wearing him. They continue to snarl at you. Oh, God. Since you choose not to speak and instead to drool, you force me to act. And she looks over at Prince Medieri. Dare I? My husband. Yeah, my sky. All right, which one am I? A GW? Which one? You you are the uh orange um or yellow Wolf. actually. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh Mawasi, could you please point to um Izulu, please? Thank you. Okay. And you're right there. Okay, cool. All right. And where is Medieti? Red or blue? Uh there, right there. Okay. Um, for my movement, I would like to move behind Prince Nadiri. And from behind him, let's see, I would like to cast. This is like a warning shot to tell them to stand back and not move. I say I may look like a nice girl, and I am, but don't think I won't clap them cheeks. <laughs> I would like to cast <clears throat> thunderclap at the ones that are closest to us. Just a warning shot. And I will use careful spell so that it doesn't affect my um, adventure mates. That's all, 1d6, thunder damage, that's it. Okay, and that's the that's the range of uh, five feet from you, yes? Yeah, yes. thunder waves centered on the self. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, they close have. Are they close enough? They are not close enough for that attack, but they do have heightened hearing, so I can see if that somehow okay. uh, hinders them from you. Uh, what is your DC? I believe it's fourteen. Sixteen. That's a natural one. So as you do your thunderous clap, as you do your thunderous clap uh, to the, the smaller pack behind you, you see them like, ah, 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 and like their ears kind of go down and they kind of like take one or two steps back and they look at you ah, even madder. You can tell that uh, that has hindered them somewhat. Uh, they're, for their next attacks for the pack, it's gonna ha they're gonna have disadvantage. Princess, I do not you? believe you can reason with wolves. All I right. don't even think they understand our language. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you wish to uh, move or do anything else, um, Izulu? I will stand next to my husband as always. I want to know who sent these beasts. Uh, all right. Z uh, Psycholo, you're up. Helps if I unmute. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I watched this whole display and I'm looking at her and I'm like, I, I can read their minds. They do not under, oh, yeah, okay. Um, That's what I was I, trying to tell her, brother. I, uh, I just turn and I, I look at, I look at Bahati and I say, Bahati, my sister, should I show off just a little? Just a little, for our family's sake. And I, I do a wink. 
you see the uh, the psychic blades kind of leap to life in both hands, and I'm going to use the rogue steady aim feature, newly released in Tasha's Cauldron of Everything, to <laughs> give to give myself advantage on this. So I'm going to be able to sneak attack this thing, even though I'm uh, uh, away from it. And um, is one of them clearly the largest out of all of them? Uh, and in the pack? Yes. Uh, I'll say yes. You can tell that the the most center one, besides the uh, two dire jackals on the other side, yep. the one uh, in the pack in, in the middle is kind of like the bigger one. Well, even I mean, dire jackal, whatever the physically largest adversary out here. That's the one. That's the one I'm gunning for. If it's oh. a dire jackal or whatever. All right, it's it's the green one. I mean, I'm like on the, on the, on the side of the. River. I'm like besides Madiri, the smaller thing than Madiri is what's getting getting got right now. Okay. Uh, that one of those is a natural 20. Hey, oh. no, yeah. uh, way to start, way to start, way to start. Uh, in this, well, the second one, so I'm about to light up this one jackal. That's good. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the second one is, um, where's my to hit? Sorry. That's weird. It's, uh. Uh, it doesn't tell me what my to hit bonus is on these. Um, oh, I know, because it helps if I look in the right spot. Uh, <laughs> the the second one is a 17 to hit. Oh, yeah, that hits, yep. Okay, so let me give you this first one. All right, so now um, I'm going to do some greasiness, though, because I told my sister I was going to show off. Um, I'm going to add to that the first one with my uh, that I crit with the sneak attack. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add my um, um, psionic strike to it. So I'm going to add an extra D8 uh, plus three to it. So okay. uh, all total is uh, 16, uh, 32, 35, um, uh, 42 points of damage with the first blade. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that number? 42, 42 <laughs> points of damage with the first psychic This is me. <laughs> okay, yep. uh, so <laughs> you, wh wh where are you hitting? Um, wh where are so, you trying to hit it? My psychic knives don't leave any physical wounds whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So just right between the eyes, just. As, as you hit it right in between the eyes, it, it like kind of like almost goes down and mm. it just starts bleeding from the mouth. Um, it is on its last hair. Good, because I got a second attack. Oh, and okay. I just, I turn and I look at, <laughs> I look at Viola <laughs> while I do it, just go, like, back over my shelter. Oh, my God. <laughs> Completely showing off. Uh, and that one is, uh, that is another six points of damage. Get it from my mama. <laughs> I as, as, down as, to my princess. As the next side blade is showing off. <laughs> so as as your second side blade goes right into its head again, it, it goes down. That mm. dire jackal is now gone. You you see the other like look at him, look, looks back at you. It mm. is furious that you have taken down its mate. Do you yes. wish to do anything else? No, because that steady aim thing takes all my movement. So by basically, I'm like, bam, and then turn and like, bang. And I'm actually just kind of looking at her <laughs> and like, look back to her. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. It's like Prince. Good. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> yep. Beautiful. That's it. Before we move on to I the next. I hope it was worth it, Psycholo. Before we yeah. move on to the next, we have two luck for Bahati. Oh, thank we you. have a look, a look for uh, Psycholo, and we have a look hey. for Madiri. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. All right. Next up is going to be Madiri. I am the mountain. I stand ready to strike down whatever comes close to my queen. I will hold my action until something was, is within my reach, and at that time, I will react. But in the meantime, I touch a rune on my forearm and enact the wedding gift that is on my skin. My white robes turn into heavy, heavy vibranium armor 
that covers me from head to toe. Excellent. Um, what what uh, weapon are you holding your your attack with? The weapon is my Ngulu Ngombe, a African sword that is curved in uh, primarily the fort section. The the end section that curves back. It kind of looks like a crescent moon at the end of a sword. Excellent. Perfect. Um, next up is going to be Bahati. What you got? Okay. Um, the one uh, that's near... I'm trying to look at the map here. The one that's near... Where's I'm, On the map, I'm trying to see where my brother just ended up. I okay. actually, I, I did, yeah, I didn't. Oh, you didn't. To, I, you didn't. I didn't move. You're, no, I you didn't move. That's no, I just started, okay. I just started eating blades and things from. <laughs> okay. from so, um, so the the one in the red, big baddie in the red in front. Uh huh. What's that amount of movement? Is that uh, at least? Uh, I would at least say. Under? Let's see. Five, ten. Oh, because you're going through the river too, so that's going to be difficult terrain. So that's going to be 10, 20, 30, 40. 40 feet of movement to get across the river. Mm, okay. So uh, the guys behind, they already see, do they, um, they already see, see, like have visual on us. Do we have visual on them? Are they, the guys? Or the, uh, the jackals. Oh yeah, they, they, they see you. You, you. you see each other, yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, <laughs> say to my brother, well, I can't have let you have all the fun. And then I'm going to go and uh, run towards uh, the one that's uh, directly um, in f like behind me. Right there. Yes, right there. Perfect. Um, and uh, attempt to uh, assassinate him with my um, Kopesh. Assassinate. Go for it. Yes. Ooh, that's a net 20, baby. Ooh, ooh. Let's go. Oh, my poor, my right. poor jacket. Uh, okay, like, yeah. We both get it from my yes. mama. <laughs> Got it from my mama. Amari, that's for you, baby. Okay, let me see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Wait, that's uh, da, 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 da. 96. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is, that's only uh, for that first one. That's only, um, wait, no, 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 no. Cause that's not a surprise attack. So that's uh, 14 well, points of damage. I, I believe that assassinate, when you attack something before it's their turn and before they act, yes, you get, is, isn't it like a crit or something? I mean, it I is a crit, wrong? yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, I doubled the damage, so that was the 14. It oh, wasn't, okay. It wasn't that much. All right, no problem. As you as you go with your Kopesh, you go, go for, you know, it's, it's, it's under soft, uh, unguarded area. You hear a <laughs> as you like go up with your blade, and there's like a just like a subtle pause as the uh, jackal goes limp, limp and clumbers to the ground. Uh, and then I'm going to actually do uh, a, a sweep attack on the one that's right next to it. Oh yes, go for it. I believe uh, that's a, yes, a D8. That's my, yes, it is. So let me go ahead and do that there. Doo -doo -doo. I rolled a two Perfect. and a three for these jackals, by the way, so. <laughs> and that's a uh, 16. 16? Yes. Uh, for, when you do a sweep attack, don't, isn't it only the D8, nothing added to it? Oh, you know what, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, right, sorry. That was, yeah, okay, so that's, yes, my bad. So that's an eight. That, that's an eight, that's still really good. That's still okay. really good. <laughs> All right, so as, as you like kind of, go for the next one it's just like one solid movement as you like kind of yes. go uh, go upward from the last one and you kind of like come down for the second you yes uh, and i end up just basically like where it's like straight across straight across and then i'm kind of like in that pose like on the ground and mm -hmm. then i like wink at my brother and oh, then yeah. i'm going to before i do that before like basically i'm not going to stay there i'm going to um use uh my uh cunning action to uh hide behind him again and uh, yeah, just tap him on the shoulder. So you're gonna move away from the jackal and hide behind your brother? Yeah. All right, so as you move away, uh, the jackal is still very mad at you because it is barely alive. It's going to attempt okay. to strike you with its teeth before you get away. That's fair. And my dice ran away. Let's go, let's try this one. 
Oh, man. Lord Ice don't exist. Uh, that's going to be an eight to hit you. And that is not hit. So yeah. I just I just breeze on by, just ease on down the road. Moonwalk over there. Excellent. Uh, we're going to go now to uh, Fai Loa. All right. Awesome. Uh, Viola is going to be like, I do not intend to be in this forest all night. And then she uh, would like to move um, towards the group of four jackals. Uh, question, how close can I get within 15 feet? All right. Um, that looks good. I don't want to get too, too close. All right. And then she would like to cast... Level one thunder wave. Go for it. What's the uh it's a constitution DC, yeah? Con fourteen. All right, let's see what we got here. Yep, each creature in a fifteen foot cube originating from me. All right, so let's see, five, ten. I'll say you get two of them. I'll say you get two of them. So that was a net one for, for that jackal. Let's see if the second one does anything better. It doesn't! What's going on? Um, they both fail. Uh, what's the damage? All right. The damage is going to be 10. All right. So you didn't hit the one that um, that Mahati hit, uh, but the other two kind of like right in front of you, you see them kind of like, <laughs> get kind of like yeah. blasted back. And I think they go back 15 feet away from you. Yes, um, she's going to basically get her power gauntlets that she has mm -hmm. and just kind of rush between the royals and just slam like the ground and hit them. So yes, uh, fail, they're gonna take 2d6 thunder and then push 10 feet away. All right, excellent. I lean down to my princess. I must get a pair of those. <laughs> <laughs> I will that fit you when we get back. <laughs> Do you wish to do anything else, Viola, before you... Um, let's see. What would be a nice little bonus action? Uh... Nope, I think that's good. Oh, um, DM. Yes. Um, I forgot that that one um, should have taken um, that still standing uh, another D4 of uh, poison damage from my Kopesh. All right, go ahead and roll it. That's three additional points of damage. So that would have been 11 damage total. Um, so you all see kind of uh, right before your eyes, um, the the one, the, the jackal that uh, Bahati hit, all of a sudden just goes ah, 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 and falls on the ground from the uh, poison damage that just now got to it. <laughs> My that sister. girl is poison. Hati, did oh. you get into my poisons again? I told you that you could <laughs> only use those if I infuse them in the weapon. I did not give you permission to use the poison. <sighs> okay, you sound like mama. Calm down. You well, you can use, use it, it for now. fun. I, I just, fun? You think poison is fun? You think my job where we have to be very careful of what elements we use is fun? <sighs> Okay, you can use the poison. Just ask. <laughs> that so is all I so want. So as everyone is arguing right now, like right in, in, in live time, uh, the jackals are now going to uh, run forward. Firstly, the big one, the red one, uh, the dire jackal, is going to leap over that waterfall and try to uh, pounce on the both of you. So why don't you both give me a, a strength check? Uh, which both, uh, Bahati and Fiola? Uh, uh, yeah, Fiola? Um, yeah, Bahati and uh, Socolo. Oh, you, guys, you, you, you both are side by side. Yep, yeah, okay. Uh... 19. 19 for you. How about you, Socolo? So, hold on. I'm, I'm going to do one of my shenanigations. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh... <laughs> So uh, I only had a 14, but I'm going to use my side bolstered neck to um, uh, push mine up to a 19 as well. Like I see it coming and I look at my sister and you see like I kind of grit and like electricity <laughs> appears around my eyes. I'm like, yep. Ooh, so, that's so you, new brother. You can see it leap 
over the water with its, its uh, jowls open, its paws in right in front of it, trying to pounce on you to hold you both down. You see it coming, and you both like sidestep, like a, like a mirror image of each other, um, so that it lands like right in between you and not on top of you. With its uh, second action, it is going to take a snap at Psycholo because you killed its mate. Ooh, and you know what? Bef and before it does, actually, um, uh, Mawasi, could you please move uh, two of those um, small jackals to the brother and sister, please? To flank with their, with their adult. And the last jackal, could you please run that jackal to uh, blue? Yes. So as that jackal runs up to you, you can uh, release your held action, Prince uh, Madiri. It is an unfortunate thing that this jackal's life must come to an end. He runs towards my princess and my shield, which is nearly as large as I am, slams into the ground, becoming a wall. I wait just a moment longer, and then I jump up with both feet and kick the shield on top of him. This is a shield bash from a shield master, a bonus action. And, and it is a natural 20 for my Ooh. shield. Is, the, there a, is, there, is there a save I have to make against that? It is a contested athletic event. My athletics make that a 28. Yeah, you win. <laughs> Dice, Joe. Nice. <laughs> I choose that he is now prone. I land on him with my shield, and I am standing because I did so with my feet. Now the Ngulu Ngombe drops on him. Go for Armor it. class 19. Oh, yeah, that gets through. The second <laughs> weapon is armor class 18. If the first one does not finish him, but the first one does. A total of 20 points of damage is the first attack. And is he your... still alive? Um, go ahead and give me your second. The combined total of the damage is 16 points of damage, a total of 30, uh, 36 points of damage. So you all see as this jackal runs over um, to... Um, uh, Mer uh, wow, why don't I just blur your name real quick? You, you see as it runs over to the Prince uh, Madiri that he holds up his shield, then kicks it down on top, then jumps up and goes down twice onto it. You see just a spray of, of uh, what once was a jackal. It is no more. I stand on the end of my shield and recall it to my arm. I look at the next one who would force violence. I do not wish it, but I am prepared. Excellent. So the, the Dire Jackal is going to um, try to bite uh, Psycholo with advantage because of pack tactics. What is going on with my dice tonight? What is, is this like a, D, <laughs> is, this a is this a DM curse situation? Like what's going on? Um, Kill us. <laughs> 12? 12? They hit you? I'm pretty sure that's not enough, but let me double check. Nope, that is not enough. Great. That's, that's wonderful. Um, so the, the, the smaller ones are going to uh, both attack Bahati with advantage. So here's for the first. Finally, God, natural 20. Sorry. Oh, I'm going to luck that. Oh, hey. oh. Hey. oh. I forgot hey. about that. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hashtag I pro move. Bahati <laughs> has like a, a, a pile of luck just waiting. We call wow. that but did you though. Just saying it. All right, here we go. Second roll. That's gonna be a 12 to hit. It will not hit. So uh, we're gonna go to the second uh, jackal. It's gonna hit. It's gonna hit you with advantage for the first go. That is gonna be a 19 to hit you. I'm gonna uh, roll that one too. Of course, of course you are. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> um. Ooh. Okay. Um. How about 14 to hit? It does not. 
All right, you see them snarling and snapping at you. There's saliva flinging all over you, just going all over the battlefield as they desperately try to claw and bite you, but can I get hate no dog purchase. breath. <laughs> and can get no purchase. We're back at the top of the round. We're going to uh, Izulu. Let's see. And so Izulu's sort of just standing back and seeing all this stuff happen. She just saw her husband step on a jackal and miraculously all the blood and guts sort of just missed her outfit completely. So she looks perfectly fine. Solid. <laughs> and nice. she, she presses a button and her pedestrian looking clothing turns into this really silvery gold shiny armor that just covers her entire body. It's not heavy, it's like really <laughs> mithril. Yeah, and it's a headpiece and everything. She says, this was a gift from my husband. I'm very excited to have the opportunity to don it now. And she's, I would like to, I need to move within 15 feet. How far is 15 feet from the red, the big boy? And the, how far is 15 feet from him? About uh, there. So let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So it's, that would be like 25 feet away from you to move, to, to get within 15 feet of the- I have to move 25 feet. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. And with this uh, with this new uh, armor, you have a fly speed, yes? I have a fly speed? Mm. Uh, I believe you do. Um, I don't- uh... Oh, well, that's fine. That's okay. Yeah, you can definitely get okay, within I, 25 feet of if the, if, of them if you wish to. Yes, um, 25 feet. So 15 feet like, away from them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> somewhat. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Since I'm not, wait, wait, wait. I would like to... Actually, I'm going to have to change what I originally was going to do. Okay. If you don't mind. No problem. Do you want to move okay. back to where you were? Yeah, I'm back to where I was. Okay. I would like to cast as a level two spell on that entire mess over there, but at the same time use my meta magic to careful spell my adventure mates. I would okay. like to cast burning hands. How how far does burning call? hands go? Uh, is oh, no, a... it is 15 feet, so I do have to move. I have to okay. move anyway, so move me. Okay. Yeah. So you you, you, oh, right, go, for, you go forward with your with your new shining armor and your hands alight with this electrical. fire. Electrical. Uh, ooh, electrical fire. And you do this uh, burning hands and just like a wave of, of, of power comes from you and goes yes. in, in that area, uh, but somehow completely misses Bahati and Sokolo. Go ahead and roll me the damage. Um, it's a deck save, right? It's a deck save of 15. Let's see what we got here. Oh, okay, so the big one makes it, and the little ones, uh, the little ones fail. Ooh. Hold on. Clickety clack. Well, that was 10. And should I roll them each separately? Uh, no, it's going to hit them all at the same time. So uh, okay. 10 damage in total? Yeah. All right. So as this wave of electricity and, and kind of like almost blue flames that kind of come from you and it hits these three, uh, the two jackals look horribly hurt. You have seared them. Um, it's, it's devastating how much you have cooked the fur off their body. Uh, the adult one is still there, like fully powered, ready to go with this, like a, a couple of singes of its fur. You wish to do anything okay. else? I would actually like to cast, um, use my tempestuous magic to mm -hmm. fly 10 feet backward and sort of up in the air at the same time. Majestically in my new armor. <laughs> <laughs> How many feet off the ground would you like to be? I can only go up 10 feet with Tempestuous. Understood. Um, Mawasi, could you please uh, 
move yellow to be right next to red and like off the ground 10 feet, please? Yes. Uh, excellent. Now we're going to go to Psycholo. Okay. Um... Okay, so I've already rolled everything up. The lowest I got was a... Sorry. The lowest I got was an 18 to attack. Is that enough to that hit it? 18 is enough to hit. But I got good news for you. The first hit, which is a sneak attack, because my sister is adjacent to this thing, uh, was a natural 20. So I'm going to, uh, I mean, you know, it was all fun and games till they started attacking my beloved Bahati. So uh, the first uh, sneak attack complete, Get him, brother. complete with my psionic strike is 50 points of damage. 50 point is this for the is this for the big one? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. Ah, you miss so, your mate, I will send you to meet it. <laughs> as you come down with that attack, it as you as you said it doesn't uh affect the body in any way, but it just completely goes limp and just like falls to the ground with like this huge thud and um dust kind of like settles under it and rises. Uh, then for the two other jackals that are around her, um, again, the lowest I got was 19. That is two more hits for eight and 10. Just. Yep, eight and 10 will both hit. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I guess I, I, I'll put eight points on one of the jackals and if it's still alive, I'm gonna put 10 points on the other one, Andy. I'll spread it out. I'll get their <laughs> attention. So so you see after Psycholo <laughs> takes down this this, huge beast right in front of you, Bahati. He turns and with like this brotherly uh, look of protection in his eyes, and he attacks both of these jackals at the same time, holds his stance for a moment, and you can usually you see the jackals like stand still, like with no sound, and just fall over uh, separately around you. Both of them? Yeah. You were supposed to let me also to kill one of them. Um, you just must be faster, my sister. Faster. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, I, I, uh, there's no other active enemies around us right now, right? Around the two no. of us? It looks uh, like everything is clear. All the beasts are laid out on the ground. Oh, okay. All right. I was going to say I moved back to the group, but I guess we, uh, we're out of uh, out of combat i will just yep. say like you see this like very like very serious flash across his face fighting these things and the moment they die he just turns back around like it's nothing again and he's like my friends i believe we can agree i am in the lead <laughs> you are in oh i hate to admit that how many did i get i got two one uh, two it's uh, yeah definitely it was uh, very impressive very impressive <laughs> iola doesn't even react to what he just said she just heads straight <laughs> towards the uh, waterfall and would mm -hmm. like to investigate to see if there's any entrance back there. You can go right ahead. Give me an investigation check. And well, to if all that's happening, I would like to lose the heavy armor and return to my princess. And together with her, I would like to look more closely at our fallen enemies to see if there is any common denominator between them. Uh, as you look around at the fallen beasts or, uh, around you, um, there is no uh, thing that really connects them to any outside source. It seems like it was possibly just a roving pack of jackals in the night. Um, it doesn't really seem that anyone kind of commanded them to come after you. Are you these look things native to Wakanda? To this forest, to this jungle, they are. Very well. Mm -hmm. And for your uh, investigation check, what did you get? All right, so initially, uh, Fiola got an 11, but I'm gonna use my uh, luck, reroll, and then I got a 21. <laughs> luck really comes in handy. Look, <laughs> let, let in the chat know again that uh, you can definitely donate to the link below to uh, give other players a luck and a DM if you want to, you know, that's fine too. I am officially <laughs> out of luck. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're ready for them whenever you have them. Um, so as you look uh, to see if there's any opening behind the waterfall, 
There isn't. It's just a regular natural waterfall that just happens to have this very uh, exquisite water. Uh, but you do uh, see the footsteps kind of like going back onto the trail um, that kind mm -hmm. of you saw around the river before. Um, if you wanted to, you could definitely cross over and, and uh, with, with that the, the tree and keep following the trail if you'd like to. We should keep following the footprints. Can I perceive around to just make sure that there's no other um, apparent dangers kind of surrounding us before we head forward? Yeah, go go for it. Apparently, I don't perceive much. That was only a six. A six. I'm, I'm so upset that my brother uh, got the the most kills out of this battle. I'm I'm just kind of I can't even focus, concentrate properly. I would say Psycholo is um, very much watching Bahati. Because mm -hmm. he saw the dogs, the jackal snap at her, and he thinks she died, but he's very much trying to make sure she's okay without acting like he's making sure she's okay. So he's mm -hmm. like, while well, she's <laughs> doing stuff. <laughs> Fiola will just quickly walk over to Bahati, take out one of her instruments, do a quick scan. You're fine, but you really should be more careful. I, I, I'm very careful. I'm always careful. What do you mean? Did you not see what just happened? I mean, you know, I, I think it went in our favor. It's to our credit. I do not think we are the ones that they heard crashing through the bushes. And I just kind of looked down at her boots. <laughs> yes, but even with your stealth, you were still the ones that got attacked first. And we are just the most vibrant targets. That is all better also, us than you. I put that on my wish list. Prince, uh, what is that shield? Did world you see star. the prince's shield? <laughs> I want that shield. That shield was amazing. Uh, well, I made it, so I'll see if I can find a copy, but you have to promise to stop stealing my poison. If we're done bickering by the side of water in the middle of the night, I would like to follow these tracks so we can quickly put this to rest. Okay. And you I'm never, glad you're okay. You never let it down that I accidentally went a little overboard with that toxin that one time on the mission, but you didn't tell me how much of the syringe I was supposed to use. I told you not to use it at all. How about none of the syringe? I remember you telling me I could use it with just some small I, dose, but I don't know what a small dose is. You're the, you're the one, the thinker, the one that does all the, the science. Very much put my hands on Bahati's shoulders and just point her ahead like we're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll discuss it later. I don't like bickering in public. <laughs> then she just heads across the. And I'm just kind of like upset because he's pushing me forward. I'm like. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. Right. For additional context, uh, Fiola and Bahati are childhood friends. Yes. So. <laughs> so, yeah, we've known each other for a your while. Ch your childhood friend <laughs> knows how to get on your nerves, and Psycholo yes. has just always been there, you know, picking at the seams. Pretty much. Nice. So as you all move forward, uh, following these uh, prints and the dirts and leaving the, the waterfall, how do you uh, go forward? Uh, what is your, uh, are you stealthing? What's your marching order? Always. Okay. I think we're- Can I still... cast detect magic to see if there's just anything left over or around or where we are to see, maybe to see, actually, I wanna see if we're being watched. Maybe this oh. is all a game to community. Okay. Uh, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, you. See if you can sense any magic around. Mm -hmm. then, then, uh, and as you kind of like look around and you, you, you feel like your magic kind of spread out to feel if there's anything around you, the only things that you're getting is just from the water that you know is, is somewhat special. Um, Everything else just seems regular. I look at my, oh, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead, say what you're gonna say. I just say, so, I, look, I look at the prince and I say, hey, my prince, I might provide you with a higher vantage point to use your wonderful vision to see if you can spy anything in the jungle surrounding us. 
This is wisdom put to use. But <clears throat> my princess has given me this ability through her wedding gift. I spread my arms and raise off the ground in my white gossamer and have a look around through dark vision to see if there is anything worth seeing from a higher vantage point, as Saikolo has said. All right. As you do this, uh, you see in the far night uh, at the base of the mountain, you see warm light. I come back and tell the rest of them exactly what I have seen. Mm -hmm. Then there the is our- Oh, sorry. <laughs> do the tracks that we saw uh, sort of also head in that direction? Yes. It appears to be the right way. All right. So as <laughs> you all move forward- I was just, I just, I'm like, <gasps> Bahati, what is this? And then I stealth the other direction where we're going. Colo. <laughs> 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 <Like, off> <laughs> I basically try to take, like, I try to basically take off, but like, I'm obviously behind and I'm like upset that he got the one up on me. So as you all move forward, and of course the siblings are taking off and trying to race each other to get to the base of this mountain. That's where we're gonna take our quick 10 minute break. Uh, to all of our watchers, uh, please enter raffle into the chat to enter in the uh, chance to get you a uh, free video game. Uh, so raffle in chat, good luck to you all. We'll see you in about uh, 10 minutes. <laughs>
Welcome back, welcome back. And it is uh, Queer Adventure Time who won the giveaway. You keep winning these. I'm, I'm gonna have to watch you. <laughs> but congratulations. You know what to do uh, in our Discord. Uh, hit up Chris Solo and he will give you the uh, collage of games that you can pick from. And also for uh, all of our viewers, this is a charity stream. We are raising money for uh, Prevent Cancer Foundation. So please, if you look in the menu below, you can see uh, what your donations can get the players. Um, and they will need it for what's coming. It's uh, not gonna be as easy as Jackals, but so <laughs> thank you for that. Thank you for being here and let's get back into it old of you to assume also also i know i said this before but i'm gonna say it again really literally i promise you every single dollar counts it really does yes. even if yes. you feel like you can't Please. contribute much it does add up i promise you it adds it, up it very it very much does and also uh if we do happen to reach our 500 goal we are going to be giving away a um rhyme of the frost maiden dig uh, digital book out to you to uh to that raffle so uh if we if we which we reach 500, that's going to be our, our uh, ending giveaway. So look out uh, for that. Yeah, also, um, I apologize because I don't have the uh, the list in front of me, but are there ways that they can donate to help you against us? Can they donate things to you, GW? Yes, they can donate luck to the DM. They can uh, donate a potion to me just for <laughs> my enemies to last a little bit longer when you're doing 50 amounts of damage. Like, what? First of all, you knew what I was. You, you I knew, gave me these I knew. parameters. Yeah, I, right. I, yeah. This is true. I looked over your character sheet. I said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just saying, you know, I realize you all are our friends and want to see us like have super happy fun Wakanda trip here, but you know, you can help him make it worse for us. <laughs> I won't even take it personally. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Like what color do they bleed? You don't you want to find out? So <laughs> well, I'm pretty uh, certain I saw some inspo and luck for the DM. So we're not going to have to right, do okay. this time. Actually, yeah. yes. Before we were jumping back into, I was going to say there are two luck for you, Fiola. There are Yay. two luck Thank you. for Izulu, Yay. and there are three luck to me. I appreciate that, because oh. I have literally yeah. been rolling fives and threes, and oh. if, if, you could, you know? if you could see my dice gel. Since since this since this is charity, if I get if I get another twenty and you take it from me, I won't spit and curse and throw the camera across the room. I'll keep that. That'll be. I'll, I'll keep it. I'll keep it in my in my heart box. If that's uh, it you know. Hurts? You know, that's how for... you really be going. Okay. Let's sing. <laughs> hey. Oh man. Thank you, Mawasi. I just got another uh, update. There are three more luck to Prince Madiri. Yay! Oh. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. So as you <laughs> all we move, need it. <laughs> as you all move forward uh, down the path, following these uh, steps that are again, they are. Uh, steps here and there, and they go back into the uh, the the, the vehicle trail, and they take another step mm -hmm. out, and they go back in. As you follow this, I'm assuming that you're not necessarily walking down the actual vehicle path, but you're like oh. maybe in the mm -hmm. shadows. In the forest. shadows, yes. Yeah. Okay. Sort of like we live in the shadows. Well, me and my brother. Yeah. As you, Viola as you... is going to try to copy Bahadi's steps, so she's a bit more stealthy. Excellent. I'm going to need everyone to give me a stealth check please no problem uh, i'd like to re-roll that because i think i just tripped and fell and made all the noise in the world so i'm <laughs> oh no that's 24 for me 24 20, 23 but only because i'm holding back so my sister can feel better about herself that's it that's the only reason Dude, keep Dude. looking at flowers brother pay attention <laughs> i rolled the same number Oh, oh, that always hurts. Um, do you have another look? I'll let you use another one, if you would. Eight. Eight, uh, okay. Yeah, eight. <laughs> All right, eight it is. Um, fine, Lola, what'd you get? Got a 13. Not bad, not improving, bad. Improving, improving. Yep, Madiri. <laughs> I got a 12. Okay, I'm gonna say, <laughs> With with the siblings being 24 and 23, and we have a lot of teens, I'm gonna say they help you, Princess Izulu, to not fall face down into like, the mud and breaking branches and making all this noise. She almost falls on her face, and then I like I hear something, I turn behind, and I'm like, Princess! Ooh, okay, you're okay, oh, you're okay, you're okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Gosh, Viola like presses heels. something on her gauntlet real quick. Cause she made like their outfits and she's like, doot, doot, doot. so like anytime she starts falling, it'll just adjust her real quick. 
I'm like, you got her? I'm gonna go hey. So I'm gonna go back up. Hey. Hey. Do your thing. So, so as you all stealth forward, keeping each other quiet and you know, staying focused on the mission at hand, uh, you start to see some warm light coming from um, before you. Like through the trees, you can start to see little warm light. You, Prince Madiri, know that this is the same light that you saw before at the base of the mountain. And I you, share that with the rest. You all know that you are now close uh, to this presumably uh, HQ of um, Kamali. So as you stealth forward, um, do I want another? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to you. As you all stealth forward and you got, get kind of closer and closer to the opening and you see it starts to get more uh, uh, a lit um, how are you moving forward? Are you moving forward cautiously? Like, are you looking around? Are you just just being very stealthy and kind of like going from tree to tree? I, I do point out to them, <clears throat> my fellow Jinaras, if I can find someone from this village, I can read their thoughts and know what is going on. Oh, well, if we see someone, I can hold him in place. Place? I need them conscious, my sister. They won't even oh, know I'm there. Okay. Ah, you take all you and Lala take the fun out of everything. Okay, let's go. So how uh Psycholo, how far how close do you need to be to someone to be able to get into their head? So let's see. I need to be um you need to touch them? No. Uh I have to be able to see them and be within 30 feet. Be within 30 feet. Um, I, have a, I have a couple of different things. Yeah. This just Can I like, perceive this... if there's anyone in the area for my for my brother to read their thoughts? You actually do not have to uh, because there are a <laughs> number of <laughs> visible people <laughs> in this area. Uh, Mawasi, could you please show us the area that we see? So as you look around, you're on the outskirts, you're still in trees in the tree lines where they where people cannot see you as you look on you do see this opening in the mountain you do see a number of guards um looking from it you and you do see the the trail of wheels from from the vehicle that you saw before go the the trail does go into the that cave hole um, I w so I would like to ease up closer, stealthy. So I'm I, what I'm doing is detect mm -hmm. thoughts. Mechanically, yes. it's different, but so I'll get his surface thoughts, and he has a chance to resist me, like probing deeper. Exactly. Or she. I don't know who's out here guarding the yep. person in question. You right. You right. <laughs> or they. You know. Non-binary non friends. I'm after. I'm after. The, I'm, after the, I'm like the first man fucking thirty feet. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Right. All right. Yes. So, uh, Mawasi. Right now, I see two guards. Mm -hmm. I need um, three more. Uh, that's more in the the forefront of the um, of that trail, the the mm -hmm. mountain trail. I need three more, and I need two watchdogs, please. Piling mm. it on. Mm. So uh, <laughs> for uh, Psycholo, you open your mind and you kind of feel yourself kind of going into the ethereal place that you normally need to be in to kind of investigate someone's surface thoughts. Uh, I feel like the only one who would really, the only ones that could actually see this being done would be Princess uh, Izulu and uh, Fayola. You can actually see the wave of psionic energy coming from uh, Psycholo's mind. Uh, let's see. So for the surface thoughts, that's how it starts out. I can tell you from the very first person uh, within range of you, um, you get the sense of impatience. You get the sense of hunger. You get the sense 
uh, that they are annoyed. And it, as you look, they are kind of like pacing and you're, and you kind of get this feeling of them saying, why do I have to be the ones, you know, in charge of these idiots? Why, why do I always have to be in charge? Like, like I always have to watch everyone's back and these are just a bunch of idiots that I have to look over. I do everything myself. That's kind of like the surface thoughts that you're getting from the person. I'm not even supposed to be here today. Yep, uh-huh, okay. And then uh, it's wisdom, wisdom 14 to push deeper. All right, as you go deeper into this part, oh, thank you. Uh, so that's gonna be a 22. Mm. So as, as you kind of like um, put yourself deeper into their thoughts, you feel kind of like a pushback and you see them kind of like pause for a second, like almost like they notice something, but they can't really tell. And they, One, just kind of like, they just kind of scratch their head and they keep doing what they're doing. One last question. As I'm looking at these people, um, do any of them seem like they have um, grenades on them? Like uh, on their tag, tag vests? Go ahead and give me a perception check. Uh, that's... Uh, 18. You, you see silver orbs, mm -hmm. like kind of like strapped to them. I mean, they're mostly like, they, they have like, you know, um, uh, spears and everything. You, you do see that they're all decked out in kind of gold ornament. Uh, you can tell that th who they serve has a very high... Um, regard for how uh, their guardsmen look. Um, any uh, of these silver spheres have pins in them? They do not have pins, but you do see like like little uh, blue lights coming from them, like just like a little blue light in the orb. It's kind of boop, boop, just like an ever gentle beep. But you Vis can tell with with uh, your knowledge of uh, Wakandan tech mm -hmm. that this is a form of explosives. But no clear switches or pins or anything. Basically, if I find a grenade, I'm gonna pull the pin on it telepathically, telekinetically. That's why I'm asking, I'm gonna be like, yoink, pow! <laughs> you, 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 can, you can definitely telekinetically push the button. You yeah. know that there's a button, yeah. you can do right. that. I just look back <laughs> at, at <laughs> tele, uh, telepathically, because this I can actually only do to uh, the Prince um, Feola and uh, Izulu at the same time. And I just say, <clears throat> apologies, prince and princess. In the brilliant <laughs> Lala, I must show off for my sister. <laughs> and I want to telekinetically so, push one of the buttons. So, I'm super against the rocks. Just like. <laughs> <laughs> so as you do that, as you're, as you're kind of thinking, having that thought of just, you know, blowing everything up and you're kind of like talking to your sister, like, you know, get ready for this. <laughs> You do notice that one of the watchdogs, their noses like starts to hit the sky and their ears like kind of like wiggle and they look over in your direction and then start walking over there as you press this button. So as you press the button for this explosion, there is a, bla a chain reaction blast with everyone there. It starts off with one just blue <clears throat> bomb of it's got blue fire cup but exploding and then there's like a chain and it's just like the the mountain itself like you can see like rocks starting to fall they need to make a dexterity save again. and then i'm gonna say it to my brother i thought you said that i had to be careful are you serious it's, yes but you are safe my sister it's fine daikolo if you close the entrance with this move i swear it's we will go around. It will be fine. Around the secret base. Yes, we will go around. <laughs> don't, hurt, hear that? don't hurt we'll them, they said. Don't hurt him, they said. What, what is this? It's, I do not know how to please you two. It's like we have the guards. I have eliminated them. And uh, Okay, sorry. Please be quiet. Shh. God. So there's an explosion that it starts off with only 10 points of blast damage, but it, as it keeps going and going and everything just gets exploded, you start seeing bodies just ah, ah, <laughs> fire all over the place. One, two guards and one dog 
survive. So two guards are like Ooh. blown forward into this open space. And the dog that noticed you once before is like kind of like hits the ground like ah! and like starts to to get up. I realize so, we're out we're out of combat, but I'm like bonus action hide. Like I just see them still alive, and I'm just like, Whoop. <laughs> so, smoke bomb. So as the as the rest of the pack of guards is exploded to who knows where they're gone now. We don't see the bodies. Who knows? You see two of the guards like you know face plant in the in the open area. Um, I wish I could point, but I can't on this one. But they end up in the open area. They're prone, and the dogs. The dog is now prone too. What would you like to? Do? You know what? Roll initiative. Yeah, I just. I literally just yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I. It would be greedy of me to take them all. <laughs> Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, I'm gonna use one of my luck to reroll that one. Better, better. Uh, so we got uh, this, and we got this. Just all right. For the, just for the record, while everybody's getting it, this, uh, what I'm doing is the the cyanite and the soul knife, both out of Tasha's. This is tremendously enjoyable. I'm not gonna lie. I oh, know. <laughs> Especially when it's like you can move tiny objects. I'm like, I know a tiny object I want. <laughs> Yo all right. So uh, twenty and above. No one? Okay, okay. Uh, we're gonna go to 20 to 15. 15. 19. So we got a 19 from Fiola, and we got a 16 from 15. Madiri. 15 from Madiri. 17 from Psycholo. Oh, okay. Let me go ahead and put that in there. Uh, this one is gonna go before you. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna go to 15 to 10. 12. I was so distracted by the fact that my brother, after telling me, scolding me, to not hurt it, these people, he just blew everything up. He blew it up. So I mean, just to, like, to, to clarify, I needed them conscious to read their minds. That was all. Yeah. <laughs> I got a 13. He just wanted to one 13. up on me. 13. Mm -hmm. Now look at you. How many do you have now? All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five. Oh. Am I missing anyone? Uh, Madiri, you got a a six, a fifteen, and then that comes in. And then, oh, I see, I see what happened. All right, you're all there. So, at the beginning of this, you you see everything exploded. You see these uh, these guards and dog go uh, prone on the ground. Um, uh, you are up. Uh, follow up. Half a far away. Okay. Um, and how far are we from them? Yeah, how far are we from them? I'm going to say you you all are just like right where the camera begins at the bottom. You're like right there. So I'm going to, um, Mawasi, are you kind of put them in like a line, kind of like a, at the bottom of the, the camera? Okay. So yeah, I'm going to say you, you're definitely within 30 feet of, of, okay. of these prone people. Okay. Um, and they're wiped out or just down? They're just down. They're about to okay. stand up. Okay. Um, if that's the case, then I mean it feels wrong to just like wail on somebody who's prone, like with your fists. So maybe if you do a spell, it's not as bad. <laughs> um, so yeah, she's uh, Fayola is going to just calmly, like after that ridiculous display of firepower, just walk over to the prone bodies and look down at them and say. I don't know what to tell you. You brought this upon yourself. Um, and then she's going to cast Thunder Wave again. Um, as, as you say that, they look at you, who are you? <laughs> we are the generals of Wakanda, and we are here to stop what madness has you have brought upon yourself. The second you say that, you see their eyes widen as you have just struck in fear within them. They did not expect you to be here. Um, so since they are prone, they're, they're going to have disadvantage on this con save against your thunder wave. Yes. All right. So let's see. First one. So uh, just, you know. I'm going to luck that because, you know. <laughs> Go for it. 
Ooh, okay. So that's a natural 17 on one. And then the other one. Uh, and I am going to luck that as well. Oh. Okay, well, one saved. <laughs> like, I'm like, good, good. Burn through those lucks before we get to the to our real enemy. Good. <laughs> so Kamali you, will be defenseless. You release <sighs> this this detonation of thunder power. Boom! On these uh, she just points and just slowly just yep. What's the damage? Um, so that's gonna be twelve. Twelve damage. A little bit. All right. Little bit. So as you do that, you you send these bodies fifteen feet away, limp as they hit the sky and like down on the ground again, and uh, the dog is pushed back, but it it like still stands up. It looks at you, and with its reaction, it's going to and send off this alarm to you don't know who. Um, anything else on your turn? Um, as soon as she hears that yowl, she's going to take her, uh, I guess, uh, gauntlets and just kind of knock them together and do guardian armor, defensive shield. So she'll gain a temporary five hit points. Nice. Excellent. All right. Next up is going to be <sighs> the guards that are completely down and out. But as the that howl rings through the mountain, you start to hear footsteps coming out you can hear uh a, another team that was presumably in the in the entrance coming out to um fight this battle so um mawasi there are now five guards we can use the same guards that went down earlier uh to make it easier but there are now uh five guards on the battlefield and they have run into the opening and two of them are going to attack Tayola, with advantage because they are flanking her. So, okay, so that's a natural 18. That's going to hit. Ooh, that's a natty 20, finally. Uh, all right, so that is going to be. Who were they attacking? Fiola? Fiola, yep. yes. Uh, I will expend my luck to make you reroll the 20 that was against her. I knew that was coming. I'm not even mad at you. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> I got you. I kid you not, this is not like a DM bluff. I rolled a natural one. Dice gel. Gone. Gone. All right. So. It bees like that sometimes. One is going to hit you four. Not bad. Six, seven, eight, nine, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, twelve. I would like to use my reaction to impose my telekinetic shield around her. So All right. So I, it's. Or the protective field, rather. So I will remove from the total. Because I have to tell you before you tell me what the damage even is. Okay. Uh, but the shield will soak um, eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. I got to do math. All right. So instead of taking 15 points of slashing from this blade, you will take only seven, Fiola. Sweet. As you see like these blades coming for you and all of a sudden you just see this this veil kind of almost cover your body, this this uh, purple psionic energy that you know who it's from, protecting you from, from these coming blows. She'll turn to Psycholo and just kind of like give him a nod. <laughs> all right, uh, they're going to hold their turn. Uh, the, the other three are gonna hold their turn for anything that comes close. Next up is going to be Psycholo. They are holding their turns. That's adorable. Um, okay, so um, let me just double check something real quick. Of the, um, are there the guards got thunder waved, right? So are there any prone guards currently? Um, there's a couple of prone guards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I've I've done it. I've done enough to those poor people. So the ones that are holding their actions, I just sort of like stand there a second and I'm like, I, I, I look at the others and I'm like, I did intend to share, but there's so many of them now. <laughs> and then like the knives come out and I just start blasting, flinging my psychic knives at the Go ones that it. are holding. Um, the... Uh, 
y'all it, it's it's been a complicated year for me uh <laughs> but th the dice are just hot sometimes that's that's a natural 20 on the first one yeah, yeah. Uh, got it from our mama. I mean, it is, it is, it is, it is. I'm using my my range shot, the same thing. So I, I can't, I can't move, but I'm gonna sting this cat. Um, so. Doo -doo -doo. And just to let okay. the chat know, uh, the DM only has one luck left. So if you want to make a donation to Prevent Cancer <laughs> Foundation, to give luck or potions or anything, please do. We are happy also, to take them. Also, everyone, your friend Psycholo's out of luck. Zero luck right now. Uh, so that's... Uh, uh, 22 points on the first knife. Uh, uh, that guy goes down. Like, uh, you, you, there's just like this random um, psionic dagger in them. And they go, Ooh! and they fall down. All right. Uh, well, the second and third don't hit nearly as hard. Uh, the second is ni nine points. And then, uh, let me double check something. Sorry. Uh, nine points. And, and the, D the DM just got five more luck. Thank you Boo! so much. Oh, boo! I mean, yay, yay, cancer, but boo! <laughs> um, not, um, so that is. Sorry, I apologize. When I use it as my offhand, it's a different thing. Um, okay, that is nine <laughs> nine points and um, five points. So I guess another fourteen on the second target. All right, that second target takes all of it, and it, they almost take a knee. You mm -hmm. can tell that they're barely hanging on <laughs> look at him, my eyes kind of narrow <laughs> but that I'm like how is he still uh, but but that's it for me then nice um madiri you're up i am disappointed that wakandans would turn against their own country i walk past the one that is on a knee i will talk to you after i am done with your brothers I hit the one behind him with a shield bash. Excellent. Uh, is that a... Um... 18 contested against my strength. All right, here we go. Ooh, okay, so that's a natural 17 plus two. So that's gonna be a 19. May I use my luck? Yes, you may use your luck. That's gonna be a 13 plus two fails, right? 15? Very good. Okay. For this one, I lift my shield under his jaw, lifting him off his feet, allowing him to slam on his back, prone. I step on his chest and drop the Ngulu Ngombe upon him. Armor class 25. Yeah, yeah, that, that barely makes it. Yeah, I, I would say. 19, I, I'm hitting with advantage since he is prone. I'm just uh, using the better one. But okay. 19 points of damage on this one. Uh, that will do it. That guard <laughs> goes down. I turn back to the one who is kneeling. You will put down your weapons and tell us what is going on, or this will happen to you. I strike the next one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you will do Didn't this even or- even give him a chance. You will tell us this or I'm just gonna go ahead. <laughs> I hit another one that is not the kneeling one. I hit another one. Okay. I'm at class 25. Yep, that'll do it. This massive sword, which more resembles an axe, this time does 20 points of damage. They go down. You will speak and tell us what we want to know, or you will not leave this cave mouth. I will intimidate if I can, but I am done otherwise. I don't think a roll is needed for intimidation after all that. Uh, I think uh, I think you got your point across. You, you can you can see um, this uh, that one taking the knee that they're it's almost like they're 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 about to give in, like they're about to put down their weapon or something. You can you can see you've definitely made an impression. Reola Baetti, he is yours. And I look at the ones that still stand. Today is not your lucky day. All right, so the uh, one lone watchdog that's on its only leg is going to go lunge at you, um, Madiri. Let's see. 
Because the dog doesn't know to like be like, I shouldn't hurt you <laughs> after all that. 20 to hit. It is my armor class. All right, so that's going to be. I'm going to do the same thing for him. Um, actually, no, he's a big, strong boy. Uh, he can probably take it. All right, uh, eight points of damage to you by teeth. There can is I saliva like on my armor. Go ahead. <laughs> Present dissertation? Did I, hear? I want to presentitize like the smell of like barbecue or something like back toward the opening of the cave because the dog said he's hungry. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Your, your turn is coming up. I'm gonna keep that okay. in mind. Uh, all right, so that was the watchdog. Now it's gonna go to Mahati. Uh, okay, so um, the, the one that just um because uh, it's occupied, like the, the dog is occupied trying to um, bite at the prince, correct? Correct. And it's still, it's still sta like basically stable. It's, I, I'm not gonna say it's stable. It's like on its last hair. <laughs> okay, I'm going to uh, be fly. like, I'm gonna basically uh, go like run forward um, with my sneak attack and um, with my uh, poison Kopesh uh, say, bad dog, and then try to slice at the dog to get him go, off of the prince. Go for it. Uh, one luck to Madiri. Yeah. Is a 17 hit? A 17 will hit this dog, this watch okay. dog. Okay, perfect. This is... Okay, um, it was nine damage and then an additional uh, four points of poison damage to the said dog. Bad dog. As you go, dare bite the prince. <laughs> as you say that, and you who's swing. your master? As you say that last line, who's your master? As you swing, he uh, hits the ground, gone. The correct answer is show sure enough. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just to the prince. Excellent, excellent. All right, so uh, next up is going to be uh, is Zulu. All right. Um, what am I closest to that is oh, that and is a foe? Okay, you're gonna. You're gonna hide. Okay. <laughs> I'm like uh, I'm trying to point the wrong cursor. One of the <laughs> wait. Let me think. The one that is this is wait. Which one am I? I thought it was yellow. There's two yellow. So you're the yellow at the bottom of the screen. The yellow one in the middle of the screen is is one of the guards. Okay, so I'm right here, mm -hmm. all the way at the end of the screen. And you can tell right, that like, the, the guard in yellow, you can tell that he is uh, second thinking his life choices. Uh, the one in the back with the green ring, is yes. still looks like he's kind of ready to go. Okay, I would like to move forward behind, or next to my husband. Okay. And I would like to address the one that is rethinking his life choices. And I would like to look him in the eye and say, I perceive the world as made of components of electrical energy rather than as physical constructs. I know, shocker. I would like to lay my hand on his shoulder and cast shocking grasp. Okay. Which Are means you... lightning just springs from my hand and delivers a shock to him. Are you looking to um, keep him up? Or are you looking to, to, to take him down? Um, no, just to subdue him. I mean, he's pretty much already subdued, but. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and, uh, and he's he's wearing metal, so it's an advantage to hit. So go ahead and roll for it. What'd you say? Go ahead and uh, roll to hit, and you do have okay. advantage because he's wearing metal. Okay, let's see. Maybe not so bad. Just six. Six? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, consider them sub subdued. They fall on both knees and they're kind of like, uh, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> uh, Tell us who you are. That'll do it. So as you say that, uh, the one on, on their knees like looks to the last guard standing and that guard looks at you all, drops their weapons. Okay, okay. Um, and they t they tell you, we are we are their guard. We we had no choice. There was nowhere else we can go. 
but we do not want this. You've, you've, you've taken out our friends. We don't want to be the next. You can just go. We'll leave. We'll leave. Do you let them leave? They are they are begin to stand and begin to kind of like back away from you very cautiously. Did, 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 uh, I detect yeah, that. What is the policy on this? Before they leave, we should ask them what the interior looks like and how many more of them will be there. You forget, we do have a way of peering into their minds through my Yeah, mind. we're going to have to detect thoughts. <laughs> so, so as uh, Fiola, you say that, and, uh, and as uh, Psycholo begins to um, detect thoughts, uh, Psycholo, you know that they're being a thousand percent percent truthful they do not want to die here tonight um they don't even like this person that, that they're you know um they're guarding uh, all they get told is that they're not good enough and they need to focus um constantly train over and over so they can reach perfection which is unreal you know that they just want to leave and they, they will not harm you <laughs> uh, okay so this is <laughs> this is what i'd like to do uh, is there back in a way? I just say, friends, all of us have served under unworthy commanders, and the, the prince and the princess are merciful, as is our King T'Challa. If you would like a chance to redeem yourself in the face of your ancestors, assist us in this matter. And then I'm going to point my co and I'll say, you will listen to what my brother tells you, and you will tell us everything we want to know. I'm trying persuasion because we're good cop, bad cop in them. <laughs> and also roll to 20. <laughs> That'll so, do it. Uh, so uh, that's, I, I have no modifier to my perception or persuasion rather. So I, that's not, it's not my jam, but I'm like, hey, look, by the way, maybe your ancestors won't think you're lame. Help. If it helps, I do have a 24 for intimidation. By, by just standing next to him with the <laughs> As the siblings are like um, coming up to, to these uh, down guards and kind of like giving them what for and telling them they should be ashamed and that they, you know, their ancestors will look down on them if they don't help. You, you feel them look, you see them look at each other and like kind of like look down and they pick up their weapons. Okay. Okay, we, we will help you. And they're gonna take off their, one of them is gonna take off their uh, their beads uh, around their, uh, uh, their, their wrists and they're gonna give it to you, Fiola. And as you look at it and you kind of just like, you know how all of these works, you kind of press the buttons, you see the entire layout of this headquarters and you know exactly where Kamali is and they are ready to back you up. Good. Um, can she, let's see. Hmm. We still have that water, right? Uh, the healing water. You have, uh, four vials of it and each one is like a 1d4 to heal. All right. Can I give one to each of them? So they're not completely useless. Oh, look at you. They, they take it and they, and they kind of like, they cautiously take it from you and they look it down and they look at you and they look at each other. Do not forget this kindness. It will not happen again. And they will drink. Oh, that's a good drink too. Um, you see them look slightly better and more refreshed, and like th their chests are kind of like more out, and they're ready to, to move forward. What would you do not to forget do? who you are. You are sons of Wakanda, so act like it. And if you act like a traitor, you will get a traitor's reward. So and then. <laughs> And then uh, quickly she'll just throw like uh, one of the last files she has to Psycholo and just kind of nod and then go ahead. So as you all move forward into this cavern, into this mountain with these uh, new found fighters by your side, you walk proudly down the halls and you are all following the map that the bead guides you. Um, Every, every so often you, you'll see a group of people and they like kind of like grab their blades and they see their their um, guard brethren go, no, it's different. Everything is different now. It's time to end this brothers. And they look at each other and they like look at them and they like kind of hit their 
their uh, staff and they start to walk behind you all. And as you keep going deep into uh, this headquarters, finding the com uh, looking for the command uh, chambers, you end up having this kind of uh, group of fighters behind you. You, the generals of Wakanda, walking in a line of five and behind you, clattered in gold is um, Kamali's own warriors coming to fight with you to take down Kamali. Mawasi, can you please give us the uh, last battlegrounds of the command center, please? As you walk in to this room, well, before you walk in, there is this grand golden door. It, there are different kind of uh, knobs and, and gears on it. You know that there there is nearly nothing that can penetrate this door, but having the beads to give you all the information to uh, all locked doors and all codes, you, um, Fiola, walk up and you kind of like press the button of the bead, it comes up and you start hitting the keys and it shows you the codes you see this door start to everything begins to unlock before you starting from uh, up top and working its way down you see these magnificent golden gears that slides open the doors as you walk in this room is clattered in gold and beauty you see uh tapestries of purple and gold you see uh, a rug leading up to uh this throne in the back of the room you see this wide open window that's overlooking the night jungle. You can definitely see that this is the command center as there are different holographic um, videos coming up of different cameras all around. You know that Kamali saw the videos of you all coming. And there you see Kamali standing by the throne looking at you. And you see um, four guards, also clattered in, in gold, walk in. No one has invited you to come here. They speak out to you. I will forgive if you take the knee. Do you take the knee? You stand in the land of Wakanda, blood rights of King T'Challa. He does not get to be king. He is not worthy to be king. I am the true ruler. Do you bend the knee to me? Watch me bend this, and I grow to giant size, for I am a rune knight, child of Wakanda. All right. As you are, there is no need for initiative. You, The, the guards rush in and they start to, you can tell that the four um, warriors that he had before him were, were their elite warriors. The, the, um, the guards rush in and begin to fight them. And you, you see them all like surrounding these four guards and the guards are like holding them off. But as they do that, you also see lions start to come in and kind of like jump on random guards that's taking them down. You have the complete focus on um, Kamali. You have their complete attention. If you wish to bypass all of this and go straight for Kamali, you mm -hmm. may. I lead a path for safety for the rest to Kamali. All right, you move forward. Uh, do you wish to attack Kamali? I do. Go for it. I will start by touching the rune on the center of my chest. This rune is a rune of the storm gods. Excellent. Then I will strike twice if I may. Yes, you may. The first roll is armor class 27. Yes. The second roll is a 25. Yes. I will give you damage shortly. No problem. As you do that, we are going to move to um, Fiola. What okay. do you wish to do? Uh, Fiola is also going to attack. 
Um, she's going to quickly say, uh, you think you are worthy of a throne? You are not even worthy of the floor I will be putting you on. And with that, she gets uh, her double-bladed scimitar, which have been hidden behind her the whole time. She sort of gets them, extends them out, and she's just going to attack a lot. Go uh, for it. Yep, she's going to do her two attacks, and then she's going to bonus, and she's going to do two weapon attack, and then she's going to bonus. All right, so let's start so with all, this. To all of our oh. viewers, uh, if you want to give any potions or luck through the uh, donation menu to prevent cancer foundation, please do, because it's all about to go down here. All right, uh, I'm going to reroll one of these. So I'm going to use the luck. Okay. Sweet. All right. And then I'm going to roll again. Oh, sweet. Sorry, I'll give you a second. <laughs> no problem. As, as you calculate right. your damage, we're going to go to... Yeah, but, uh, but she hits, uh, she attacks twice with a double scimitar, and the scimitar itself has an ability where she can, um, a special if she attacks with it, she can also attack as her bonus action. Mm -hmm. All three of them hit with 20s, I believe. Oh, okay then. Understood. Go ahead and calculate your damage as well. We're going to go to Aizulu. What do you wish to do? Okay, Aizulu steps forward behind her husband and says, how dare you utter the name of King Chikala as if you are worthy. And as she's walking, she's sort of waving her fingers and electrical energy is sort of coming off the tips of her fingers. And she sc screams at the top of her lungs, throws her hands forward. And from her fingertips springs purple energy vibranium, atmospheric energy. I'd like to Ooh. cast lightning bolt. Lightning, yeah. as you scream, it echoes through the chambers. It's almost too loud for anyone to hear. Your, your general friends are uh, very accustomed to this, so they bear down as you let loose your rage of the sky from you. <laughs> you break through this room and out the window. <laughs> Lightning strikes and hits the jungle, causing this uh, blue fire as it breaks through uh, ka, um, Kamali. Uh, go ahead and roll your damage, and we're going to go right to um, Psychola. What you got? As all of this is happening, Psychola is just like very much um, strolling up towards them as like all hell's breaking loose. Mm -hmm. and then just kind of like um, get just out of arm's reach and kind of like look at their sister and just wink and like and just like start teeing off with these things, which um, I did, I did, I did get a natural 20. Oh. And, oh. I did. and uh, psychic knife, psychic knife action surge. So just like electricity ripples around him and it looks like he moves backwards in time for a second and then does it all over again. Uh, I'm throwing these knives out at her for 25, 13, 10, and seven points of damage. Woo! Excellent, excellent. Psycholo, you get another luck. Uh, hey, another thank you. Luck. And I get two. <laughs> and Psycholo and uh, Fiola, you get a luck. So you get hey. another luck. Hey, thank you. All right, all right, Wait, all right, awesome. all right. Thank you. Now we're I do have the to... damage, by the way. Uh, go ahead and give it to me. All right. So uh, between the, her uh, scimitars that have the electrical damage and just her multiple attacks, she will be dealing uh, 22 points of physical damage and 10 points of lightning damage. So a total of 32 damage. Excellent. Excellent. All right, uh, last but certainly not least, uh, we have Bahati. What do you wish to do? Um, after like hearing all this, uh, like Bahati is um, basically very upset because her whole life has been dedicated to protecting Wakanda. Um, she's basically, she, she went kind of behind um, the prince when, during his transformation. So that way she would know exactly where to strike. She's going to, without saying a word, just like as quick as lightning, she's gonna, um, go forward um, with a, uh, a fainting attack and um, strike him as hard as she can with her uh, Kokesh. 
uh, uh, correct on. correct me if i'm wrong has um has our adversary here uh kamali acted this turn not yet no I believe that is assassination grounds, my it sister. Is. It is. And you also should qualify for your sneak attack. So yeah, I do, yes. <laughs> so uh that is uh twenty-seven to hit. Um that, that will hit. Okay. All right, let's do this uh crazy damage here. All right. So that's twelve plus. Fifteen plus an additional fourteen. Okay. Any more? And then another twelve on top of that. Excellent. Now it is Kamali's turn. After you all oh, work. After I do that, then I'm gonna say <laughs> bend the knee. I would never you are a man who fights without honor. You will never be on the throne. As you say that, they uh, start to swing their giant glaive of gold. You see this light, you hear this roar, a lion's roar coming from the blade as it begins to glow with this radiant power. And they will swing and attack all of you in their area. Well, I didn't finish though. Oh, you're not done, okay. I have an action surge. Go for it. And then I have advantage on this hit as well. That's 17 to hit. Yep. Oh, no, actually, no, it doesn't, no. It doesn't hit? No. I'm gonna luck it. Go for it. <laughs> but a 23, how's that? Yep. Got that? All right, Got that. let's do it. All right, so that is 12 with an additional uh, three, points of uh, poison damage. Excellent. All right, is there anything else in the tank? Um, I'm going to um, get, try to get behind um, the prince again with my um, cunning action. Mm -hmm. All right, so as I said, they swing around their giant glaive golden with yellow with the roar of a lion. You all take 43 points of physical and radiant damage. Uncanny um, dodge for me. Okay. Um, and does it shoot for me? No, no one here is uh, resistant to physical, yes? Resistant to what? Uh, physical damage. Uh, damage I am pressure. resistant to physical damage. All right. So you instead take uh, 32. I will slam my shield down with my reaction in front of Izulu, my sky, and I will absorb some of that because I am a shield master. And they, after they do that, they will say to you all, oh, not tonight, we'll meet again. I'll see you again. And they will turn around and run away out the hole that um, Izulu made with the, uh, her lightning bolt. They will jump out and like you see this this uh, mechanic yellow kind of kite kind of like come out of nowhere and they will fly away. Before they're fully away, do we uh -huh. get an attack of opportunity? Like, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> the opportunity attack oh, them no. I, I was just like narratively I realized what's happening here, but I'm like they're about to get worked. <laughs> yeah. They're all like, ha, -ha dramatic exit. And we're like, yeah. really? Mm. No, you're not. No, you're Go not. For it. Give, give me give me those uh, hits opportunity. Not so fast, matter of fact, he's <laughs> mm -hmm. about to get bopped. All right. Yes. Uh, I put another 15 <laughs> on him myself. Excellent. Like... Oh, oh no, I think I, oh, I froze for a second. I put another 15 on him myself. Perfect, yeah. gotcha. <laughs> another 13 for me. Another 13. <laughs> I'm gonna throw. Um, Fayot, Loa, what you got for damage? Hmm. It's just an attack, right? I can't throw a spell. Just an attack, unless you're a war caster, which I don't yeah. believe you are. Yep. Nope, nope. All right, so yeah, then it's just going to be eight. Yeah, That's still unless, good. Yeah, Every if, little bit helps. If, if anyone can smite or anything like that, it works, but otherwise, no. Yep, just checking. 
Madiri, did you uh, attack as well? I did. 24 points of damage. Jeez, jeez. Uh, wow. So, 12? All right, so mm -hmm. as they begin to run from you, <laughs> and like you see as they jump out, bat battered and bruised, like the wings start to come out, but one kind of like, gets kind of like caught on something. It, it looks like you uh, attacked one of the wings. And so like, they're like kind of like, <laughs> like flying away, but like looking like, like, a, like a broke fly, just kind of like flying through the night and they crash into the jungle. You have won uh, this fight <laughs> against Kamali using their own people against them. Uh, they look at you, they thank you, they give you a bow, they cross, um, and they, and they uh, gracefully say to you, Wakanda forever, to your king. Wakanda forever. Wakanda, Wakanda forever. forever. To our king. The only king. The Kata. true king. Excellent. So as you all leave here and, and you all uh, get back onto the trail, back to the kingdom, you, um, Feloa actually has some items. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, Fayola has been working on some prototypes. So she has a prototype of some compactable hover bikes. They kind of fold up and they look like baseball bats. So she just kind of says, one moment. And then she presses her uh, gauntlet. Suitcase falls from the sky delivered. She opens it up. And basically, these are our way back. And she hands them out to everyone. All you right, well, to don't ride go too a fast. Floating I like it. All the way back to the mountain? Through you the can jungle. Sit on it any way that you want. It's pretty easy. And then uh, she sort of presses some additional buttons and his grows a bit bigger and more lush. Uh, mm -hmm. Does the same uh, for his blue. Excellent. So after this back and forth and finally getting everyone <laughs> on these hover bikes, you go towards uh, uh, the the kingdom. And like right before the kingdom, the, the bikes do break down just because they are prototypes, but you push them to the limit. <laughs> As you walk into the, the kingdom, like. The, your, your tribe lets you through the gates and everyone's looking at you confused. They, like, no one in the city, you're walking through the city. No one in the city understands why like generals are walking through better, better than bruised. Like everything was fine before, but as you do, like they stare at you, then all of a sudden like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they cheer you on for some unknown battle. Ibombe. As you, as you, yes, Ibombe. 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 as you make Ibombe. your way to uh, the palace, you walk through and you just know like everything is cool. It's like, you got the mission done. Uh, the kingdom is safe. Everything's fine. You walk in and right before you, you see uh, this man uh, draped in black and silver. Uh, they turn their back. Uh, they turn around because you were looking at their back and you see your king. Where have you been? <laughs> I pushed that colo forward. I just like la la, I believe. And that is where we're going to call it tonight's game. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all. We didn't so die. Thank you. Yay! Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you all so much uh, for being here. I know we have some time constraints, so we started a little bit late. I'm glad that we could get through it. Um, if if we oh we're going to do a quick one round to let everyone know where they can find you, we're going to start with uh sid start us off, off please all right yeah so once again sydney adams it's been awesome um you can always find me at rainy underscore fro i'll uh comment in here and it's rainy and r-a-i-n-i -I underscore fro at instagram or twitter and you can see the stuff that i'm up to and we're gonna <laughs> bounce really quick to uh b day because he is on a time schedule b day can you tell us where to find you and what you're doing after this uh, B Day Walters, I say words about things. You can holler at me on Twitter. My DMs are open. Just don't say anything cre uh, greasy or I will rinse you. Um, and, and right after this, immediately, we are going into Wraith Echoes of New York on Q Time. Ooh. So I'll be on the other side of the table telling a very spooky ghost story. And thank you for this. Uh, this this was fantastic. This is a whole lot of fun. Thank you for being here. It was, it was a blast having you. Uh, next, we're going to go to uh, TJ Storm. Hey, it's easy to find me. Just Google my name and follow the path. Uh, I get to work on fun stuff, so hopefully you guys will get to see it, and uh, we'll get to talk about it the next time we play all together. 
This has been a kick-ass Black Friday. Thank you, guys. Oh, thank you, thank you. The blackest of Black Fridays. Blackest of Black Fridays. The blackest of Black Fridays. The, the DM that put in all the work, the, the, yes. the man behind the scenes that is making everything go smooth as well. Yeah, uh, so low. Much respect, thank you guys, <laughs> thank you. for making this so much fun. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we're gonna go to uh, Alicia Marie. Hi everybody, I'm Alicia Marie. You can find me everywhere on socials at Alicia Marie Body. Twitter is my favorite. Tomorrow is Vault on Fabled 42 at 6.30 p.m. So tune in. We have Pacific a lot of time. It's fun, crazy. Today has been way too short. I too want short. this to continue. GW did an amazing job. All you guys are funny as hell. I try not to laugh, but let me tell you, I was laughing inside the entire time. <laughs> Oh. Hi guys, and I'm Utihime. Um, you can find me again, Utihime Cosplay on the socials. Uh, my legal name, Brianna DeCosta on Twitter. Um, but uh, yeah, you'll find me tomorrow with uh, Alicia Marie Body and um, the rest of our uh, uh, Vault crew for Vault um, uh, 42. Um, again, 6:30 here, um, and this is that specific time, by the way. But thank you guys so much. It was su such an honor to be working with everybody today, and thank you guys for the donations. And uh, mm -hmm. Wakanda forever. Rest Wakanda forever. I am GW. I have been your humble DM for this evening. You can find me on um, IG and Twitter under GW005. You can also find me here on Fable 42. I'm in things. You'll see me every now and then. Um, <laughs> and the last thing I will leave you all with is what's coming up next for all of our Fablers is going to be um, Fox Talks, which is our, our general recap show of all of our games that we have on this network. Um, also, in chat, go ahead and enter a raffle for the Between Show giveaway, um, and Ronan will be picking the next winner on his show. And uh, this, I'm glad this all came together. This has been on my <laughs> mind for a long time. Uh, this is, for all the people out there who feels uh, wrongly judged, for everyone who's out there who feels like they have to work three times as hard as our counterparts, for everyone out there who uh, feels like you know they uh, aren't good enough. Just remember, Ibombe. 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 Did we hear from Sid? Did Sid? Did you tell us where to find you? Yeah. Uh, she was first. Rainy, Rainy okay. Cool. cool. Thought, <laughs> all right. Cool. Cool. Cool.